Hello there, everyone! Delta One here! Why am I so dark? Oh my goodness. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, I'm too bright. Oh, God. <laughs> Welcome in, everyone. Delta One here. Ship hunting is dead. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> it's different. It's certainly not dead. Uh, but we're going to explore that a bit today because happy update day. We're playing some No Man's Sky, baby. Oh, man, I'm excited. It's a fun looking update. Man, I'm not happy with this light right now. Let's let's do a different a different texture. This is like, it's like too it's too it's too white on the yeah. Let's get a little yellower there. There we go. There we go. There we go. Let's go for that one. And brighten me up. There we go. Hello. Got our lighting right. Welcome in. It is update day. We are playing some No Man's Sky. Orbitals drop today, and it is super duper exciting. I cannot wait to check this out. Thank you all for being here. Um, there's some really fun stuff in here. I read through the patch notes. Well, I skimmed through the patch notes. I've had a busy day at work, so I've been in and out of streams a little bit, but I haven't been paying too much attention. So I know a lot of you guys have been in streams all day, so just let me know if we're doing some repeat stuff and you want to move on or try something else. Give me your suggestions in the chat. If you're watching after the fact, give me your suggestions in the comments, and we will make this happen. Let's go ahead and say hello to the folks we got live with us. Uh, I think we had culinary zest first up at the top. <laughs> that's already that's already flown by. Welcome in, CZ. Good to have you here. We got Spock with their ticket. Thank you very much, Spock. John Dravis says, going to be epic. It super is. Um, and you got home for the first time in two and a half weeks, CZ, and came back to an NMS update. Isn't that awesome? Get your gaming rig. Have some fun, man. Crusty Butt, how's it going? Welcome in. Maxi, you're lurking. You're not feeling well. Yeah, I kind of skimmed the messages. Hope you feel better soon, buddy. Stay out of the hospital. Go see a doctor or something. Get better. Don't watch this. Go go get better. <laughs> uh, but I appreciate you being here. Uh, Dredgen Felix, oh, welcome in. Welcome in. Good to have you here, buddy. Do, 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 do alien royalty. Hello, hello. Elrad says, woohoo! Thanks for being here, boss. Um, do, Joy of the Roth. Hello, hello. Good to have you. Oh, you had oral surgery today, Alien. Well, I pray for you to recover quickly. I do indeed. I do indeed. Uh, and thank you for being here, Elrad. So nice of you. Chaotic Serenity, what's going on? I actually played this update. Hey, hey welcome back to No Man's Sky. Farming what? Forget farming simulator. We're all about No Man's Sky. Let's get some links in the chat. We got Joy Roth. We got Maxi. We got Chaotic Serenity. Uh, I missed one. Did I miss one? I feel like I missed one. Well, if I missed it, we'll throw it in later. Uh, let's 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 freaking get started, guys. Um, oh boy, I am I am I am through the roof excited. I I feel like I can't get this. Wow, well, God, that was the wrong direction. I feel like I can't get this light right today. My hair is doing a funny thing. I missed a heist. Oh no, it happens. All right, let's get into game. All right, so you can see in the background there we were at a space station. This was the space station we were at. When we ended last stream, we're going to go to this mode. Um, there are a number of things we got to check out, guys. All right, all right. Oh, this looks so good. What type of system are we in, actually? We're in advanced materials economy. Comfortable? Is that a two or a three star? I'm not sure. Conflict level one. Oh, these stations look absolutely epic. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. I think what they've done with the art style here is phenomenal. They've made the stations a little grittier. They've made them more dynamic. Look at these arms here. Uh, look at that bad boy back there. I think the other one did move in the old stations, but that is way cooler looking. And this sign is awesome. This, like, Viking sign. Oh, God. Don't land on me. Ah, ah, sorry. This Viking sign looks so cool. Uh, there are some new build parts. We'll check those out eventually as well. Cannot wait. Cannot wait. Um, look at that. Look at that. The animation is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it's going to make for some really cool kaleidoscopes, guys. So, um, I don't know how many of you have uh, seen this or not. Um, let's put a poll in chat, actually. New layout gives you the fizz. I love it. Because um, this is a hotly debated topic right now, and I'll give you my opinion at some point tonight. Um, but so far, I want to check it out a little bit. Do you think... Oh, I'm gonna, whoop, that's not what I wanted. Uh oh, close that. Uh, we're going to put a poll in chat. You can do it! Hey, it's you can do, do you think this update you hurts ship hunting? It clearly doesn't kill ship hunting, but do you think it hurts ship hunting? Yes? No? 
Uh, yes or no? I think we'll just say yes or no for now. There is some granularity to it, so I can respect it. So give it your best, uh, you know, because there is a, sort of like a, in my opinion, it's kind of here is like a maybe-ish. Um, and we, we, let's add maybe. Maybe? With a question mark. And we'll start that poll. Let me know what you think. Um, because the big thing is we got ship customization. It's really a ship builder. And this is actually one of the things that I had suggested a while back that would be kind of interesting. It's, um, I, I, there's one thing about it that I would have implemented differently from what I've seen so far. But coming through here, you got three bays, and I know these are procedurally generated, these stations. So we'll have to check out a few of them. So coming into the left bay, what do we, who do we have here? You are, okay, this is our mission agent, like that. Hey, Day Avanti, welcome in, Oreos of Nip Nip, love it. Um, hey, and we got Sid in chat. Good to have you here too, buddy. Keeping up with the Jovians. <laughs> I like that. Calorie dense. I don't, I actually don't really do missions in No Man's Sky. So I, I couldn't tell you whether these are super different or not. Honestly. Um, I like this though, right here. Trade terminal and the um, the teleporter right next to each other. Now there's no back room because they're used to... Ooh, that's going to change speed. Is there a back room? Because that would change speed runs. I'm actually on the lookout. I think, is that the ship? Because, oh no, that is the ship. I think it's the ship. I'm, I'm look out for a needle nose that lands here. Um, hey, Scott, rinse, repeat. What's going on? Good to have you here. No back room, says uh, Scott. Okay. Uh, today's the last stream you can join Sin until after the move. Everything but my phone and Chromebook are packed. Well, there you go. Uh, okay, best of luck with the move, my friend. Um, and we'll see you on the other side. Couldn't we now do parts hunting too? New challenge, says Chris uh, Chris Kins. Sorry. I, I, I messed up. Chris Kins, sorry. Man, my eyesight is not doing great today. Uh, yes, and so that's part of the part of the maybe, maybe. Uh, but I like the teleporter and trade terminal right here. If you look in the trade terminal, anything different with the UI? No, looks about the same. This might be me, but just pushing it up and down, it feels a little punchier. Kind of like that. Hmm. Oh, this is a creative save I'm in. Totally, totally modded out. Uh, let's buy this ship. Let's buy this ship. Do I want to buy this ship? Yeah, I want to buy this ship. Let's see. Uh, make an offer the request from Starship. Negotiate price. We will give up our exotic. And then I want to pull up another ship that I don't care about. Uh, let's give up... Oh, we might have parts on here that we want. Yeah, the heavy wings there I want to keep. Uh, let's give up the solar. Oh, this is such a good solar, though. Oh, no, it's not. This is an okay solar. So when that, uh... When that needle comes in, we can get it. Um, yeah. Maxi says, I stand by my previous statement regarding ship hunting. I will kill... It will... Uh, it will kill the game. However, uh, how they have implemented it is very well done and adds to the hunting in your opinion. Okay, yeah, that's a, that's a very valid opinion. I'm not giving mine up yet. Let's see. Let's see. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Whoa. Oh, the exotic left. That was loud. This, okay, this is the cartographer. Oh, I like that they put a little hollow table here. <gasps> how cool would it be if we got this part? Oh. For building? Oh, man. And back here, okay, appearance modifier over here. And then right here we have the Starship Fabricator. Only three ships here. I saw a thing that Captain Steve posted, and if you look closely at the trailer, it had shuttles there, so that might be something that is in the works. Being able to modify shuttles, and I think modifying shuttles would be kind of cool. Though it might have been this loading in, now that I think about it. I don't know. We'll see. If HG adds Sentinel ships, could you imagine the parts list? Exactly. that. So that's why I would imagine shuttles haven't come in yet. Or, um... Inconvenient. <laughs> but Delta Spirit. Force will push on. Welcome in, buddy. Good to have you here. Um, I imagine that's why they haven't added it yet. Oh, here's our exosuit guy. Okay. Oh, so, okay. So exosuit multi-tool. Oh, come on, needle nose. Nope. Exosuit multi-tool. And then this will be... Over here, who do we got? Starship. Does it look like a starship? I guess there's an engine up there. Oh, it's a little cockpit. Interesting. 
And over here is the Excel Craft. Oh, you can see right here. There we go. Hey, Scott, rinse, repeat. Oh, seven. Thank you so much for the five gifted membership. Guys, can we get an 07 for Scott in the chat? Thank you so much, dude. That is really awesome. I really appreciate that. Members, welcome to the club, baby. <laughs> Beeple Bum, what's going on? Who wants to modify shuttles? Only one option needed. Scrap it. <laughs> Check out Beeple Bum, guys. Um, I, you know, I disagree. I, you know, here's the, and here's the reason I disagree. Every now and again, every now and again, I, everybody at some point has seen a shuttle. They're like, wait, that shuttle's not so bad. Imagine if we could play around with the shuttle parts to, like, make what we want out of a shuttle. I think that would be kind of interesting. Hot take, hot take, hot take. I don't know. Seriously, gaming, welcome in. I basically only fly interceptors, so I uh, have not much interest in custom ships so far. Fair enough. Fair enough. There's the needle. That's what I wanted. Come here. Come to Papa. Come to Papa. Ooh, this has a dorsal. I think we're getting all the members. So who did we get in? We got Joy Roth, my friend. We got Dave Avanti, Atlas Galacticus, John Dravis. Welcome to the Members Club. Comes with a few perks, a members only section on the Discord. And um, you can join the live chat when I open it up for folks. Which is fine. We might do that tonight. Not sure yet. We'll see. Ayasu's Pride. Ah, oh, that's a cool ship. Let's negotiate the price. Exchange it. That's our new ship. What's the next ship we want to get rid of? Oh, God. Do I want to get rid of an interceptor? Um, I want to keep this one to test something. That's got heavy wings. I want to keep that. Let's get rid of an interceptor. Yeah, we'll get rid of that guy. The fact that it is a surprise just tells the whole story of what the uh, the update. <laughs> I, I mean, that's that that that's not that's very true. That is very true. I you know, if you're talking about the update beeps, yeah, you know, we really I wish they would tell us when things were coming by. But it is what it is. So, this is something I haven't checked out either. We're going to check out multi-tool hunting tonight as well. So, this is a C-class um, cabinet. We saw this um, last stream. Uh, well, we saw that this was a C-class cabinet. We didn't see it in this base station. And then we have another one here. It is also the C-class. It is the same multi-tool, I think. Unprotected Vector Absorber. Let's just check that name real quick. I think it's the same. Whoa. Whoa, what did I just... What did I hit? Down here? Did I hit you? What did I hit? All right, sweet. Free units. Oh, down here. Ah. <laughs> oh, well, they're sitting on the floor now. Who dropped that? It's like somebody littered in the space station. Unprotected vector absorber. Same one. Okay. So I'm wondering if you can get uh, different ships or different, uh, uh, different class cabinets. So I am a big fan of how this looks. They're procedurally generated. They probably have to do with the economy or... Oh, whoa, that's a wall. Why can't I go back here? They force fielded me out. No, I want to go to there. Let me in. Jerk. Let me steal your stuff. I'm a pirate. Oh, okay, all right. I guess that's fair. Man, they're running low on inventory here. All right. Denial is the first sign. <laughs> Hunt, welcome in. Putting Hunt's on to bed and I'll be back. Update! Yeah, buddy! Hell yeah! Did we get Shock and all? And anybody I miss? Kiwi Pirate! Hey, welcome in, buddy! Uh, did I miss Shock? Shock, what's going on? Oh, you're the one that said denial. That makes sense. I'm shocked, and I'm odd. <laughs> Good to have everybody here. Alright, let's check out another system. Oh, guys, this is so friggin' exciting. Hey, big boy baller, what's going on? So what's new with the new update? So guys, what's with the new update? Oh god. So loud, why? What is this hair thing I have going on here? You see that? Look at that. Style, styling tonight. I'm styling. God, it's really bugging me. Okay, let's uh, let's go to a new system. Uh, what what galaxy are we in? I think we're in Zdorajung. We'll, we'll test that upstairs. Uh, da, 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 shock has stolen all the pew pews. <laughs> Classic. Classic shock and all. Alright, let's see. 
but so we're in a two star scientific what was it again i don't know it's comfortable that's two star let's try to find a three star viking and see what that does i heard that pirate systems are the stations are the same might want to check that out just to verify there's a three star uh okay let's let's see what this looks like and just gets said what's going on wow it's still so loud yeah the uh going into the freighter I don't know if that's just pirate freighters or what, but the rest of the game sounds are like normal, so don't know what to do about that. Is the music volume too high for you guys, by the way? Is it drowning me out at all? I can turn that down a bit. In fact, maybe today we turn it down so we can maybe hear some new sounds. If they show up. There we go. Yeah, baby, yeah. Glad, hey, Scott. Oh, well, guys, 07 to Scott for being a member for three months. It says, glad you're streaming later. Every, everyone else was at the same time earlier. I saw. Oh, I was super jealous, to be honest with you. Um, because I had a, I had a tough work day, man. Uh, there, was, there was no streaming for me today. Uh, until later. So I'm glad to be streaming, too. Thank you so much for your membership, buddy. I appreciate that very much. Dude, Task Vision, what's going on? Dude, I saw uh, some of your base tours. Oh, my God, dude. You are killing it. Look at that. Look how gorgeous this is. Have they changed how asteroid fields go? This looks different. This feels different. Sparse flying in. This is just cool, man. Look at that thing. Look at that. Oh, Delta Creator. <laughs> oh, 07 Delta Creator. Thank you so, so, so much uh, for the super chat. Without a chat. Put your chat in so I can talk. So I can, so I can uh, read it out loud. Uh, thank you so much for the $10 super chat. Appreciate that, guys. 07's for Delta Creator. And welcome in, Mama. Appreciate having you here. Spending all day downloading. You still have 13 hours left. Oh, my goodness. Whoa, look at this station. Oh, Hachi Mama. Thanks for the 07's for her, guys. That's really kind. Uh, Concept level relaxed. It is trading is affluent, and it's the stopwatch. Uh, I forget what that means in terms of what it is. Oh, it's just trading, I guess. Okay. Um, it's a three-star. Look at this. This reminds me of, like, like a particle accelerator. Like the inside of, like, the Large Hadron Collider or something is what this reminds me of. Are you not entertained? Hit that like button. Did Sin, Sin said something, right? Since uh, 34 viewers and 13 likes. Well, I'm so happy you guys are here to watch and appreciate that. Um, yeah, if we can get some more likes in there, that'd be great. In fact, what are we at? We're at 13 likes. If we get to... Oh, we'll be streaming for a while. Let's say if we get to... 40... Thank you, Streamlabs, for the reminder. Let's say 40 likes tonight. We'll, uh, we'll do a raffle for a redeem. Okay, same thing, same thing. Come through here, any new products? I don't think so. Yeah, that, that would have probably been in the... They did mention trading, but it would have been in the patch notes. I wonder if the rate at which ships are coming in has gotten better. Okay, uh, the multi-tool is over here. Oh, God. Okay, that's going to be... Stolen DNA samples. Interesting. This is going to be a little frustrating. Uh, it's hard to hit the cabinet. A C-class cabinet. And on this side... It might be the same cabinet, guys. So it doesn't change too much there. I'll get you 40 likes in the next hour. <laughs> Appreciate it, Andy. Gunboat Willy, welcome in. And Unicron, hey! Good to have you here, buddy. How you doing tonight? Okay, so... Ooh, something cool coming here? Something cool? Something cool? No. Dang. I assume this is force fielded too. So this is all red. What was the outside color of the space station? Does the inside match? There's a traveler here. So I don't think anything about multi-tool hunting is really going to change. What we can do... Shock says, Delta, thoughts on the update as a ship chaser? I'm, I'm waiting for your guys' opinions before I give you mine, but I do have some thoughts. <laughs> yes, lick the like button. <laughs> I know where he keeps it offline. Kiwi, that was a secret. 
Ooh, look at that baller hauler. Oh, we're gonna have to buy that. I mean, come on. Oh, I'm gonna decimate all the ships in this save. I can feel it already. They're all dead. I'm gonna need to make a specific ship builder save. So I can buy and just destroy ships. We're gonna make a hauler tonight, too. We're gonna make a fighter, we're gonna make a hauler. Oh, hello there. Oh my god, are these droid wings? Yeah, yeah. Hey, <laughs> Spock, remember for five months? Thank you so much. 07, buddy. 07's for shock. I'm sorry, Spock, blah. And shock, why not? <laughs> In the chat. Appreciate it, my friend. Ball and ball holler. Heck yeah. Uh, let's buy this guy. Offer a trade. Oh, no. I want to make an offer on the starship. Oh, no, I just bought the baller. Oh, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Stay here, don't go anywhere. You can suck it. We're getting rid of this exotic. You can suck it, you can suck it, you can all suck it. Live, Live long, long and suck, suck it. it. Okay, now we'll buy your ship, buddy. So what I'm doing right now is just hunting for parts. I see the droid wing here. I see the E-wing here. So this is something... Do I check this right now? I think I do. I'm going to go ahead and... I guess I want to... How do I scrap the... I don't actually know how to scrap the ship. That's something I haven't actually seen. Um, it feels like shipbuilding is a money sink. Good call for HG to drain some people's coffers. Yes, that is good. I, it, if you're playing in normal or like a survival or something type save like that. Whoa. Oh, wait. that's I just sold that. Never mind. <laughs> and I sold that one. Don't get excited. NPCs aren't flying. Interceptors. Um, what the heck do I... Do I scrap it over here? You can cust you can build ships. Customize is kind of a loose term. You can build ships. Uh, I guess I don't do it here. I have no ship parts, so I have to scrap the ship. Where is the ship scrapper? I gotta look around for it. Please, sir, where can I destroy my ship? I don't want it anymore. Well, you're you're a ship vendor, not a scrapper, though. Look oh god. Look <laughs> oh, that's it. A classic. Come on. This is so. Is it up there somewhere? No. Where are you? I feel like oh, it should be no. on the first level. <laughs> so, this little mezzanine here looks like it's empty and may ultimately have doors. I'm wondering if they'll add the back rooms back. Maybe I should ask you the same question. <laughs> what, what you doing, doing in my waters? waters? <laughs> That's a fun one. Uh, to the left of customization. Thank you, Chrissy Kins. Up oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, I love these glass panels. Look at that. So what they've done here, if you think about it, this has a much more like... Uh, maybe like the 2004 Battlestar Galactica meets the the newer Star Trek movies, the ones with Chris Pine, like with the glass uh, frames, like it's got that sort of vibe to it. I like that. It's it's taken it a little bit out of the fantasy realm and updated it to be a little bit more modern while still while still paying respect to the tropes that a No Man's Sky falls falls into, like finding, like um, amalgamating stuff from different sci-fi uh, movies, genres, whatever. So I like that. Uh, begin salvage analysis. That's a different menu. Extract customization module. Uh, which one do I get? What? Is this a bug? Uh, I can't say which one it is. Uh, I heard there was a text bug. Is this that text bug? Hey, APG, welcome in, buddy. Says, uh, just drop it in to say hi, everybody, and hit the like. Thank you very much, guys. Check out APG as well. And we got... Da, 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 da. I think I saw somebody else in. That I missed. Uh, Clueless Dad Gamer, good evening, mate. How you doing? Uh, let me catch up and chat a little bit while you guys answer this question. Don't. It looks like a bug. Um, if you have access to Twitch ships, you can scrap those and get quite a few parts that way. Ooh, that's interesting. Very smart. To the left, customization. Thank you. Almost everything you see in the space stations you can build now. The displays and animated billboards look perfect. Couldn't agree more, uh, Biebs. Uh, silent for sure. Gunboat's chances are someone will make a mod for that. For 
mixed parts from different ship classes. Yeah, that'll happen. So Silent will do it, yeah. Bugged, might need to update again. They already released a patch. I thought I did um, update, but we'll check it out. Uh, shipbuilding use, uh, using ship parts inspires people to search for starships more. Potentially. Potentially. I get nothing from it if I pick one? Okay. So uh, let me do this. Let me... Uh, Let me reload the restore point first, go back in, then I'll restart the game and try it that way. <clears throat> New build's coming soon, no, I think Beeble Bum's taking a small step back, which is okay. Understandable. I get nothing if I pick one, that's a bummer. 42 likes, guys, that was way too easy. I should have, I should have put it at 50. Oh well. I'm a man of my word, we'll do a raffle. Let's try again. Oh, did I actually save? Oh, screw gun. Which one did I lose? Uh, what are you? Not that one. Oh, the ships I just found. Son of a biscuit. What the heck is that? Okay, we got the needle nose still. Uh, what else did I lose? <laughs> That's fair. We got this one. We got the needle nose. Oh, we can give that one up. Uh, but I think we lost. Oh, uh, we lost the baller hauler. Oh, we lost the droid, which is. Did we lose the baller hauler? Yeah, we can get rid of this one for. <gasps> Look at this! This is just a good ship! Oh my god! I mean, this ship is cool as is. Let's take a picture, guys. We are in a Zdorajong, I think. Stubby chrome with droid E-wing and triple thruster. I think it's chrome. Hot damn, that's just a good ship. <laughs> Get it. I hear uh, ships you find have like a certified fresh sticker or something on them. Certified fresh by Amazon or whatever. <laughs> this is just a cool ship. Nice. Uh, we're gonna take that. Oh, I love that. Look at that. Hot damn, that's beautiful. God, such a good ship. I, I didn't see the baller, which I really wanted to test something with. Tagawa Pioneer. Now, I want to keep the heavies on that. Let's bring this in. I think that's what we traded for the baller, so... Yeah, uh, Chrissy Kins, that's just a nice fighter. Um, let's, actually, let's select a ship that I'm okay with scrapping. I wanted to check out, which one, which one, which one, which one. This bug is annoying too, I can't really see what ships they are. I want to keep the needle on that. But, we can at least test it out, if that, if that worked, because then I can, uh, I can restart the game. Begin salvage analysis. Extract custom module. There we go. There we go. Okay. So that's good. It was a bug. Um, I don't want to salvage this one quite yet. I wanted to test something with uh, ships. I, so what I want to do is... Is dance, obviously. <laughs> Uh, kind of glad they left the solars out of it for now, Tosk. Why is that? Out of curiosity. Shock, you're right. They also sell for more. For, for sure, for sure. <laughs> Scott Trins repeat says, certified fresh. TM. Uh, Chaotic Serenity said you were testing, you were, uh, you were, bah, 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 bah. collecting parts and then found an epic ship like that one. Yeah, I mean, so, okay, let's buy this one, actually. I'll use this one to test. Um, what ship do I have out right now? Not that one. Let's pull out this guy. Let's buy this guy. Make an offer. Negotiate price. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm scrapping you. <laughs> Goodbye. Hey, Pete, welcome in. Pete, Ship Hunter Extraordinaire. Oh, Pete, I'm very curious for your opinion. 
on what do you think about this this uh, update very curious oh um, what's going on i think i said hi earlier right i hope i did sorry if i didn't all right begin salvage analysis i'm just gonna take the wings Oh, come on! Oh, this is gonna be annoying. I'm gonna have to reload every friggin' time. Alright. Fine. You win. I'll do it. Let's do a reload and reload our restore point. This is a Zendesk bug for sure. But, guys, here's the thing. Whenever there's a new update, there's always some bugs. Don't get all upset about it. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Let it be. They'll figure it out. I already made a restore point. Yeah, I was just paranoid. So, <laughs> I did it again. I just reloaded, right? I, I think I just reloaded. Man, my, my mind is askew tonight. They've already... Yeah, a bug fix will be released soon, you think, Andu? Yeah, they've actually already released two hot patches. I downloaded the game after those... Hot patches were released. I saw like a fourteen point five gigabyte update on, on like on after the seven gigabyte update. So I figure those were the hot patches. But, oh, that's not what I want. It's gonna it's gonna get mad at me because I entered it twice. Begin salvage analysis. Please work. There we go. Okay. Salvage wings. Visit the fabricator to assemble new starships. Okay. Let's take a look in my exosuit here. Where are said wings? I assume they can. Ah, here we are. Radiant wings. <gasps> okay. So, what I wanted to see is if I would get the dorsal. Would the dorsal then be part of the hull, maybe? Let's buy this one. Which is the same ship. Perfect. Uh, make an offer. Negotiate price. And buy. Well, now I can instantly make any ship I like. Any color instantly. I have bases uh, where most of my good finds were and all those parts that I like can be instantly available. So is that a positive or a negative for you, Pete? Wings include dorsal, dorsal if applicable, FYI. Well, the dorsal can go on any fighter. Except for the... Yeah, on any fighter. Any fighter that has wings, it'll go on that... Um, yeah, because the dorsal will never appear with a halo, for example, right? Oh, the cockpit's not going to matter either. Dorsal is a wing part, so how do I know? Well, let's see. Let's find a different ship. What the heck? What is this? Is this a Radiant Pillar? Why is there a Radiant Pillar here? It's my Radiant Pillar. Why is that here? That's weird. Uh, let's buy this one. I want two of these now. To test something. Let's buy you. Make an offer on the life form starship, yes. And we will negotiate a price, and we will exchange for this one. Let's destroy the hull. And um, so we'll destroy, we'll get the cockpit as well, and then we just need to get an engine from some random ship. It also has made, ir okay, yeah. So it also has made irrelevant No Man's Sky coordinate exchange and other coordinate exchange sites. So that, yeah, so that's that's the hot take, right? So a lot of people feel that way as well. And that's the opinion that ship hunting has been more or less uh, decimated. Which is not an unfair opinion. It depends. Well, let's salvage the cockpit from this one. Okay. What do we got? Do we get it? Okay, we got the... This is the alpha that's going to be so confusing. This used to be the stubby. Now it's the alpha. These are the radiant wings. Or Finn. We gotta learn all new names, guys. Hello Games has finally given us actual names. Oh boy. Oh, what's what? What do I take? 
you. Let's take you. And from you, I'll take the... No, not you. I want to test something else with you. Let's grab... What's this one? Fragment? I can't scrap you, but I can sell you. If a different ship were to show up, the same, like, two ships are showing up over and over again. I don't want to scrap that guy. I don't want to scrap that guy. I like this ship, but we're going to scrap it. I'm going to take the engine from it. It's a fun little ship. I like the colors on it. Let's scrap that, we'll get this engine, and we'll build a ship. Alright, coming over here. Begin salvage analysis. Extract custom witchamadoozle. And we'll take the engines. Okay, now let's come over here. So. The heck is the reactor core? Oh, where do I get these? Where does one get in the reactor core? Uh, good question. Can I scrap a ship for a reactor core? Anybody know? Anybody know? Hey, Dash, what's going on? Welcome in. Anybody know where I get a reactor core? Is that something I could buy? From the ship merchant? Buy the core upstairs. Okay, yeah, I figured. That makes sense. Hey, buddy. One reactor core, please. Okay. Nanites. And you get discounts for standing. So, one of the things that I really like is they are connecting some different game elements. So standing, which really didn't mean much, now means a good bit if you're playing in a normal, a permadeath, or whatever. That I like that. Because a lot of people do play in normal and survival and permadeath. That is really cool. 18 nanites for this. That's, that is a plus. So aligning yourself to a certain or all the factions is very useful. Uh, powering an S class. So this will determine what class we get for the ship. Okay. I'll bet we can dupe that. Uh, in fact, let me look at my settings real quick. Um, just to see what the difficulty is set to. Survival difficulty is... that's fine. Uh, resources, let's just put that at standard. Uh, crafting... No. I want to see cost. Purchases... oh. I have it set to free, but I don't know how much things cost. I guess this is okay for now. We'll see. That's good. Let's let's build this bad boy. Fuselage. We have an alpha cockpit, which was our stubby. Oh, it's all the names. Wait, wait. We have an alpha. Okay, so now the old alpha is the omega. Oh, the Raza is the radiant. Hot rod. Hot rod! Yes, finally! Screw long nose. That's a hot rod. Uh, let me catch up in chat here. You think they cost nanites, Hunt? Yep, yep, yep. Shop up top. Thank you, thank you. What determines super slot layout? Supercharged slot layout. That is something we're testing tonight. I haven't seen anybody do that yet. Seriously, gaming. You're at negative 360 with the Gek Andu? Ah, oh, man. You're going to have to pay a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, don't buy anything from them. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and do you come full circle? Yeah, uh, Dark Side Taco, welcome in. Okay, so this is the hot rod. And they chose Needle. Why would they call this a vector fuselage? Why can't you be a Viper? The sleek cockpit and the speeder. Okay, snow speeder, that still works. Turbine, I actually kind of like that. Turbine fuselage. I mean, it is a turbine. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, So this, so here's where I'm a little maybe like how much so when you when you when a developer is like developing the game and they're adding features you almost wonder do they play their game do they have fun with their game like what do they do the fact that most of these names do not match like for fighters for example which are like very wide like if you want to go to haulers or interceptors or um even explorers some of the name conventions are out there right you don't really know what they are 
but fighters is pretty freaking standard. There's maybe a few parts that have two names, maybe, but not really, right? And almost none of these match. So the question is, how much do they actually play their game? Why not make them the names that the community had decided? Like, it, they, they are well-defined. So that's a that's a question that I'm kind of like, do they actually do ship hunting that much? I don't know. But I'm okay adopting the new names. It doesn't bother me. Um, it's just a kind of a, huh, interesting. Reactor core. How dare they name their own parts as shock? It's not that. It's like, you know, it's such a community-based game, you know? That, that little bit there. Radiant. Okay, these are still vector wings. That's good. Oh, vector wings with fin. It's not a dorsal. It's DBF. <laughs> Death by fin now. That's what that means. Okay. Vector wings, vector wings. from These are hard frame? Interesting. Okay. These are hard frame S wings. Oh, my God. Oh, S for shockwave. Please call these hard frame E wings. Okay. I like that. Hard frame... E wings with a fin, hard frame with V wings. Okay, <laughs> these are C wings. Still got the halo. That's good. <laughs> this one just feels mean. Why not? Oh, afterburner. Oh, so it always comes with this little part here. Okay, so these are just afterburner wings. Okay, afterburner with this, afterburner with that. Okay, afterburner. Sea wings. Wait, let's come back up here. Oh, they're not ties anymore. I'm still calling them ties. I can't help it. Uh, afterburner with what is this one? Uh, with afterburner wings. So what was up here? Afterburner wings. What's the difference between this? Afterburner wings here. Verse. These two. They're the same. One of these must be with the shockwave, and one of these must be with the aftershock. Vulture, that's the same. Palisade wings, what the? Star, star dancer wings, what is happening? Horizon, okay, they, okay, so they have more of the naming conditions. Radiant, droid, okay, droid S wings. Droid E wings, droid E wings, droid V wings. Droid C wings, okay. Quasar kept that swept. Wings, full, swept wings, mid, and swept. Okay, so that's Mecha 7, 5, and 3. Interesting. Uh, the parts you use in the station, okay, I've been playing with the Gek for years. <laughs> Pirate Life for you. Uh, you never like the stubby name? That's fair enough, Pete. Yeah, I, you know, it's a little strange name. That's fair. Maybe HG felt they needed to put the record straight, telling the community who's boss and name the parts. <laughs> Got us! <laughs> it's, I mean, it's such a small nitpick thing. It doesn't really matter. Um, if you guys like the Hot Rod Alpha Vector, then the Starship Customizer is the best place to make. Yeah, Heck yeah, Atlas Galacticus. Love having official names that aren't too long. Sorry, it's a whale, not the Ocean King. Yeah, yeah, right, I know. A sea wing is something else completely. Halo is still there. Sorry, Shock. You're not in luck today. Vesper. Vesper wing swept. This is tough. Gull. Okay, this is the one. Vesper wings with what? What is this? Vesper with fin. See, what they're not doing, what I'm not seeing, is a, a difference between Aftershock and Shockwave extensions. Like, something's missing here. Right, because, well, that's maybe not a good example. Unless that combination doesn't exist. Um, let's look at... There is a wing. Like, so just like the box... Not that, not that. In fact, we have one in our inventory. We'll check it out. Like, so for example, the... Uh, yeah, this one can come with that. But so can... Like, this box, which is, I guess, the Vesper wing... Also can come with this. Oh, this is by itself. This is that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's what this is. I could have sworn that the star screen, which is what this used to be, could also come with aftershock. But maybe I'm wrong. I'll have to look in my inventory to see if that exists. Interesting. Okay, so we're learning a little bit of stuff. 
So they don't get threatened by Disney? Yeah, probably right. Dark Side Taco can't do Thai. Uh, so super uh, slot placement and ship statistics are defined by the parts you use and the station you do it at. It's very similar to how the staffs are assembled. Okay, so this, so actually, actually, that's a good point. I actually don't know how the supercharged slots work for staffs. Is there a certain part that does it, or is it the or is it going to be completely random based on the combination of parts in the location? Uh, do these ship uh, parts take uh, do these ship parts take inventory slots? Yes, but you can stack them. That's good to know. Uh, Clifford Carter, oh seven, welcome to Gamma. I was just happy to be looking when you joined. Thank you so much uh, for joining the Delta Squad, guys. Oh seven's for Clifford in the chat. Okay, well let's let's build the ship. Sorry, I'm, guys. I know I'm taking a long time, but I am so I am I am pumped. Mono thruster, tri booster, vector thruster. We're gonna try to memorize these names. Uh, I'll do my best. Um. Here you are. Okay, there's the fin. Ooh, what was the decal? Uh, on the stubby. Oh, I didn't check. Dang. Uh, we'll do it when it, when it, we'll, we'll try to find the stubby again and see what the decal was. But I think I'm finding that the decals are always 9-9. At least that's kind of what I picked up from other streams. I was very in and out, so I don't know. Yeah, it's the Alien 99. But you do have some decals. The not a recycling symbol here. We could do whatever colors we want. Whoa! Wow, that is a bright white. Well, let's do... Uh... Ooh, guys, there's no periwinkle. That soft periwinkle color we like? That's, this isn't it. That's kind of nice. And, like, the dustier pinks and roses? Like, so these are rarer colors, but I'm not seeing them here. Unless this isn't doing it justice, but I think there are some colors out there that are not here. Let's go to metallic. Oh, so you can make it all chrome, baby? All right, that's pretty sick looking. Hold on. <laughs> that's a pretty sick looking ship, yo. Oop. Nessie has opinions. All right, come on. That's pretty... That's pretty cool. <laughs> All right. You got me, HG. Insert final what? What did it say? Insert something? What did it want me to insert? Okay, well, that's a cool ship. Delta Dog, she's all over it, man. Looks like you can put ship parts in a refiner. Yeah, so you can I've heard you can dupe ship parts. That's that's good for people who want to dupe. Um you scrapped a ship and picked something, but then couldn't find the piece. Check your um, check your freighter, maybe, or it could be a bug as well. That's very possible, right? Uh, I want that um, stubby to show up again. The metallic bright colors are your favorite part. Yeah, those are pretty sick looking. Um, uh, they they kind of got me. They kind of got me. You gotta fly out from that landing pad. Yeah, that's that's a good point. That's a good point. I do have to do that now. Let's fly out. And in fact, let's go to um, let's go to a planet and check uh, a multi-tool. Let's go to a different planet. Let's go to that planet. Ooh, paradise! Hot damn! <laughs> I can't repeat what you said, Kiwi, but you got a point. We don't kink shame here. <laughs> if, it, if it's all the same decals, then there's still some organic hunting that's relevant. Correct. Oh, I love oh come on. Anything I think it's good. I'm a fan of it. It's purple, baby. I 
I feel like we didn't get all the fighters coming in. What the hell? So that's a new feature. Looking for local trade surges. Hold on, let's try that. So this was something they touted as well. This is going to be annoying ship hunting, but I like the idea. Trade surge IOSA something system. So has this become part of my log? Yep. So now it's a mission. I can go here, locate my uh, and to purchase required goods. Okay. Oh, this is a cool feature. So this is so this is an interesting thing. Like you can sometimes do in like uh, Elite Dangerous, like um, find places that have uh, good trading for a while. I like that a lot. That's really cool. Rakdos Rover, what's going on? Welcome. And anybody I missed, I'm sorry. The chat's flying by here. <laughs> All right, let's come down here. Uh, the com there is no commands link, unfortunately. Uh, am I going to need to go into the first person mode cutscene every time I scan for a trade outpost? It looks that way, seriously. I understand why they did it that way. So I'm not going to complain. It's like, like lore-wise, it's the economy scanner. It's called the friggin' economy scanner. Like, that makes sense. It's annoying for ship hunters, so that, that does go back to the question is how much do they play their own game? I don't know. Hopefully a lot. Um, but there's some things that are going to be quality of life annoying. And that is likely one of them. Okay, Stubby landed in. Let's see what the decal was. So it was a, not a recycling symbol and a 9-9. So there was a 9-9 on this, but not the recycling symbol. We're going to have to make some more ships and test that out. Look at this cute little guy. Look at this cute little guy. Yeah, let's get that. What's a ship I don't care about anymore? I'm gonna lose all these ships, man. These ships are done. You're dead to me. I love you, but you're dead to me. Raffle, you are right. Let's do a raffle. Make an offer on the Lifeform Starship. Negotiate price. Bye. Let's do a reload. And while we're reloading, let's set up that raffle there. Thank you for the reminder, Shock. Uh, 99 problems. Yeah, we can make a, a Bob's ship, can't we? Um, potentially. It's the Alien 99. I don't know if he'd be okay with that. He had a normal 99 for his ship. Uh, Cloudbot giveaways. Okay, this one's going to be for a redeem, guys, if you want the ability to create a redeem. Start giveaway. It'll be exclamation point raffle in the chat. All right, we're good there. We're good there. Okay. And we'll end that in a few minutes. We reloaded. Let's take this ship up to the space station. And we'll test out the decal thing here as well. We'll we'll kill another ship. A few ships. Oh god, we gotta kill a lot of ships tonight. And we'll also check the multi-tools, see if it because there can I think it's possible to have multiple multi-tools of the same class in a planet. I wonder if this will draw them out. Oh wow. The very active uh <laughs> very active raffle this time. Oh, that's my capital sh No, I'm going to the space station. But let's dismiss the capital ship so we don't run into it. And let's see. Let's take a look at the outside color of the space station as well. See if that correlation still happens. Is there an outside color? It's really hard to say. It's like a rusty reddish pink. Oh, these are harder to get into. There we go. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now, Shock. We're going to check the decals. Uh, what's... <laughs> Alien says, uh, at Maxi, you think Delta's losing his brain cells right now? Constantly. I'm constantly losing brain cells, man. It's the 
bane of my existence. Uh, we're going to scrap this guy. Uh, did I miss it? Well, the raffles really pulled, pulled chat away, so I, I can't see what you guys were saying before. Okay. Uh, begin salvage analysis. Extract customization module. Let's, okay, let's hold on. Let's take a look at... Let's take a good look. Oh, look at that. <gasps> Gull wings. I want you, I want you, I want you, I want you, I want you. Let's take a look at that. It's got the upside down 9 9 and an upside down triangle. Oh, I guess you could call that a 6 6. <laughs> upside down 9 9. Delta, you dolt. Uh, let's scrap the ship that we the, that we made. We'll sell that. I don't care for it. Or we don't need it. It was just a test. So we'll test another one. Let's buy this guy. Ensign Onga. And look at that. So, these are also the supercharged slots from this one. Let's take a look at that. Um, and you know what? We'll take a look at the supercharged slots from the Raza as well. Yellow, make an offer. Negotiate price, and we'll exchange it. Um, let's call the Raza back in. I can find it. This is a this is gonna be a really annoying bug. You don't see it. Ooh. <laughs> Andre, you scared me. Well done. Upside down nine nine. Yeah, I'm kind of a moron there, aren't I? Uh, let's upgrade this guy so we can see where the supercharged slots are. Number one. That's number one. Upgrade Starship. Okay, that'll put it to A-Class. Ooh, they may have fixed that bug. The max class reached bug. Yep. Oh, they fixed it. Yes. Okay, that's good. That's really good. Apply augmentation. Okay, that's where the supercharge slots are. Take a picture. Then let's take the fuselage. Or the cockpit, I guess, whatever it is. Salvage cockpit. Okay, what ship did it give us next? Put our radiant pillar out. Let's scrap this guy. Let's take the wings from this one. Let's take the wings from this one. Uh, Begin salvage analysis. Extract custom module. Let's get the wings. Hey, Rosie, what's going on? Welcome in. Did I miss you? I think I saw you. Yeah, there we go. How's it going? Long time no see, man. How you doing? Hopefully well. Oh look, they flew my ship back in. Um, and I want one more fighter that I am okay with scrapping. Oh, this is a beauty. But I'm afraid I need your thruster. But I also want to see, oh, look at that. Oh, this was a really good one. Oh, I can't bear, it's gold chrome. I can't bear to, I can't bear to part with you. Oh, this is, uh, I'm weak. I like you, but that gold chrome was too good. Oops. Let's take a picture of the supercharged slots. And let's go make a beast, a behemoth. Yeah, we got a raffle going on, by the way. Anybody joining in? Feel free to check that out. Um, and let's upgrade the start. Let's begin salvage analysis and take out... Extract custom module. Let's get the engines. All right, let's go get a, a core. I like that you can enter from either side. That's really that, that that was a good quality of life thing. It is very crowded though. 
because if I'm at the ship uh, scrapper or customizer, I need to do something up here or vice versa. I'm on the other side and I want to come up here. I can do it from either side. I can check the multi-tool from either side. I like that a lot. That's class reactor. And let's see what the multi-tool ended up being. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. Either side. Right. There you go. Fair enough. That's what she said. <laughs> Oh, I walked into that one. Oui. There we go. Okay. How does supercharge slot work on custom ships now? Unicron, that's what we're testing right now. We're figuring that out right now. So I'm going to put... I took the pictures of the supercharge slots from all three ships, and I'm going to put a part from all three ships on this. So let's see what it looks like. Fuselage. We have the Radiant Fuselage, a Reactor Core, the Vulture Wings, and a box. Oh, look how it shows up in the background. And the Vector Thruster. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, I mean, come on. Come on. Come on. That's just, that's just sick looking. Look at those decals, too. Actually, I'm going to not do the, um, I'm not going to do the metallic because I want to see the decals a little better. There we go. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Interesting. I didn't check the wing decals, but it might be that the decals are like pre-decided. Add to collection. And at this point, I'm going to upgrade the ship. Upgrade Starship, and let's get the da, 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 augmentations. Take a picture. And I have my screenshots here. I'm going to take a look to see if it matches any of the pictures I took. Okay, so we have the vulture wings. It's not that layout. It is not... Ooh, but it's close. Yeah, it's not the layout for the Raza. Uh, and it's not the layout for the box thruster either. It's a completely different layout, so it might be dependent on location. Just purely location. So, let's do this. We take a picture of this, did we? Yes, we did. Let me make sure. I do indeed have a picture of this supercharged slot layout. Let's make one more ship in the same station. And, um... Ooh. Do I have to fly this out? Let me buy this ship here. So you'll notice the decals were the... Let's take a look at it. Let's just go and take a look at it physically. Makes more sense. Could be random too, possibly. So it's still the Alien 99 and the not a recycling symbol. Hmm. Interest peaked. Interest peaked. Uh, let's go ahead and just go to a trade outpost. It'll be faster and we'll do a little multi tool hunting while we're at it. Why not? Why not? Robert Graham, welcome in. Good to have you here, my friend. How you doing today? Tonight. This evening. This morning. Whatever it is for you. <laughs> there is a raffle going on. I'm going to give it another 30 seconds and then I'm going to end it. Uh, that does not have a trade post on it. Let's check out this planet. Please be a decent planet. Please, please, please. Foggy, I'll work with that. Economy scanner. Played for a bit today. What'd you think, Robert? Maybe decals vary by system. You should dupe a single set of parts and try the same build in two systems. Great idea. We'll do that right now. Fantastic idea, Hunt. Guys, he had a good idea. Oh, seriously, gaming. Sorry, we should have shouted you out. My bad. 
Big fail, this update reminds me of release date. <laughs> really? You think so? Alright, let's see uh, who wins the raffle. Close entries. And the winners are, pick a winner. Dark Side Taco! 07 Dark Side Taco. Congratulations on your win there. 07, you get to pick a redeem. <laughs> Bravo Haunt. Yeah, every now and again he has a good idea, guys. Don't let it get to his head. Don't tell him, though. It'll go right to his head. <laughs> God, this is kind of annoying. <laughs> but, sacrifices must be made in the interest of the greater good. Son of a biscuit, why is it taking me over there? What is that? Why is there nothing here? We'll do a reload here, at least, so we can see a new multi-tool. Uh, did they do the same thing with multi-tools or just ships? Seems just ships. Um, so you know what that means. Multi-tools are one of the last things you can hunt pure. <laughs> well, only pure, I should say. Uh, though who knows, maybe they'll, maybe, maybe they'll, they'll come for them too. In the middle of the night. For your multi-tools. Hide them. <laughs> um, so let me, uh, let me go ahead and, uh, end the poll here for now. We might pull it back up later. I guess I could have kept it up. 67% no, 19% maybe, 13% yes. So it seems like overwhelmingly we don't think that it has destroyed ship hunting. I agree... What the heck? I agree with that assessment. I don't think... So this is like kind of my opinion. I don't think it's destroyed ship hunting. I do think that it has... It has seriously changed it. And some of the value that we have assigned to ship hunting in the past, it has kind of crippled. I still like it, and I think it has, um, I think it provides a different kind of gameplay. I think that gameplay is tailored more towards newer players than legacy players. Um, I think there are ship hunting communities that are going to be pretty upset about this. Um... If the, if the poll asked destroy, I wouldn't have voted yes. Yeah, and I didn't say destroy... Oh, you wouldn't have voted yes. Okay, I see. I got you. <laughs> I'm picking up what you're putting down. Um, so think, think of it this way. Um, when they introduced freighter customization, like freighter hunting was a thing. How many people freighter hunted now? Have you ever seen anybody freighter hunt? It just doesn't happen. Because they added freighter customization. Now, you know, there's only so many freighter um, configurations, and when you find them, you find them. And that's that. The end, right? Oh, let's take a picture of the decals on this one. As well, so we have... Um, a comparison. Oh, let me make sure I got that. I didn't back out too soon. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, no, so nobody does freighter hunting anymore because they introduce colors. So you just get the, you find the configuration you want, which is pretty easy to find because there aren't that many variations. <coughs> Bob's your uncle and you're done, right? Buy a ship. Negotiate price. Buy. Let's get rid of another ship. Oh, what did I get? Oh no, did I get rid of my radiant pill? No, I didn't. I got rid of that, that's fine. Let's get rid of this guy. No! Dang it. Daggone nabbit. I wanted to reload. On... I didn't want to reload on this planet. But we're testing out ships, not multi-tools, per se, so... We could do that a bit later. It's probably going to be a long stream tonight, guys, is my guess. Um... So let's do a reload, get in some more ships. Good. Uh, Ricey streamed earlier today. I was in his stream. I watched quite a bit of Unicron uh, earlier today, and he didn't seem too mind given how ship hunting was implemented. Or ship building, I guess, was implemented. 
uh, freighter hunting is still important for supercharged slots. That's true. That does add a little bit of, of stuff there. Um, <laughs> Bob's your uncle. Bob's your cooler uncle, Auntie Bob. <laughs> gotcha. Um, I wish they hadn't added colors. I wish when you scrapped something, the colors you got were the colors you got. Um, because finding parts is... Re I mean, you saw the list of parts. You know, given a, given a solid evening, you can find all of them, right? And then it's whatever colors you want and whatever... Uh, mix and match. Maybe maybe, maybe a week worth of average gameplay or a month of average gameplay, and you find everything. You know, a few hours a week. Look how the station looks in the sky. Isn't that awesome? Well, look at the fireflies. How pretty. Uh, did not get any fighters. Thank you, Viking system. Let's do a reload. Um, so, it's not going to take that long to find whatever you want. Uh, so, in terms of hunting for parts, how long is that going to last? There's no, there's not really a lot of hunting for parts. Supercharged slots, like freighters, is a thing, but it did, a freighter hunting doesn't, you don't do that much of it, to be honest, right? So, do you think they'll ever add more ship parts, like more thruster choices? I hope so, but I wouldn't, I, I don't think so. Um, so that being said, I think being able to hunt for your own ship is cool. Um, and or hunt for the parts you want is cool. And this is an authenticated ship. That's kind of fun. I've been certified fresh TM. Um, so that's kind of nice. They sell for more, so if you're playing in normal, that's cool. But most ship hunters I know play in creative, so that doesn't really affect anybody. What is with Shuttle City over here? I mean, come on. Are there, are there no fighters? Look at that knowledge stone. Just chilling there. Oh, there's a fighter. Hello. Hello, hello. Alright, make it off from life from Starship. Negotiate price, and we'll get rid of you. Oh, we can just buy it. Let's exchange it, though. Let's free up some space for ships we don't want. And there's another ship I don't think I want. You. Yeah, I can get rid of you. Um, so I think there are aspects of ship hunting that are maybe going to be gone for a little bit. I mean, that, and that is, that is unfortunate, but I don't think it's the end of the world. I, I do agree that there are still really cool things you could do with ship hunting. I just, I don't think it's gone. I also think, like, from, for me, from, like, a streaming standpoint and from, like, a, a fun standpoint, there's a lot of cool challenges you could do with building. Like, let's say we do a build-off challenge. That would be so much fun. Like, everybody's got two hours to find as many ships as they can, whatever parts they can, and then from that, you make the coolest ship you could think of, and then have the audience vote, right? So something like that would be pretty fun. Uh, finding an S-Class freighter, for sure, for sure, for sure. Ooh, Hero 2, you found a four-square pirate dreadnought. Hot damn, that's a good find. Oh, I need this baller holler. I need you. I need you in my life. Oh, look at that T-Rex. We're gonna have to get a picture of that. What happened? I didn't sell it? What did I sell? Or maybe I just bought it. I want you. Exchange? Uh, sure. Let's make sure we have all the ships we want. I don't think we have all of them yet. We got that one, but we don't care about that. Uh, I wanted to... Is this the one that I made? Oh, we can get rid of that one. That's good. This one we found in the system. What else did we find in the system? Not you. Not you. Not you. Where's the Raza? Did I sell the Raza? No, where is it? I own that. I just bought it. Did I screw something up here? I No, it's right there. One, two, and I need one more fighter. 
You will do, my friend. Let's pull up this. Which fight are we pulling up? Which fight are we pulling up? Let's get rid of this that we just made. And buy this. Whoa! Hey, Jason! Thank you so much for the raid, buddy! 07, welcome in, Raiders! Uh, make an offer on the life form starship. Let's buy this guy! Uh, I'll just straight up buy it. Welcome in, Heather! How's it going? Let me say good hello to everybody. Uh, yeah, let me face the camera. Come on, Delta. Look at that broken neck. Oof. <laughs> Shock and awesome. Hello there. We got a suck of Jason from Cyber Steve. <laughs> no, 07 Jason. Thank you so much. We got. Oh, everybody's saying suck at Jason. Jason, did you give them directions? <laughs> Gundam 178, welcome. And oh, I'm not going to be able to keep up. Raven, Wolf, uh, Ja Ruler. <laughs> I like that one. That's a fun one. Um, huh? Oh, yeah. Delta Wife is here. She wants to give a thumbs up for the raid. Come in. Delta Wife hand. Thumbs up. <laughs> Um, hey, Jason says, second Jason. KJ, welcome in. Midnight Jelly Sandbox Star Slayer. The Pro Craftinator. Nova Kane. Carlos Garcia. There's no way I'm going to keep up. Art Missile. Holy moly, Jason. You had a lot of people. Art Missile. Uh, loving this update so far, says Star Slayer. Uh, so far, unfortunately, you're an Xbox player. No, it'll come soon, I promise. It'll come soon. Um, hopefully. Arcane Worm. Jason Play sent you. <laughs> well done. Uh, Valerophone, hello, hello. Gundam, what's going on? Martin Bowers, hello. Imbecile Nerd, just subscribed. 07, guys, 07's in the chat. Appreciate that. Uh, Mac Attack Raid, Mac Attack UK, I should say. Uh, Douglas Pine, what's going on? Luca Natoli, and so many people. Uh, James, hello, hello. Gundam, thank you so much for subscribing. Oh, Jason, this is very kind of you. Thank you very, very much. Uh, Delta wife so pale. Yeah, she's from your she's from your part of the world, Maxi. <laughs> Moose drool. So we are checking out uh, the update as well. Oh my goodness. I thank you very much, Chris Leonard. Welcome to the Delta Squad subscribers. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, guys, if you like what you're seeing, go ahead and hit the subscribe button or the like button. We like to have fun here. Mostly playing No Man's Sky, but a few other things. I'm Delta One. Good to meet you. Oh seven, Richard Price. <laughs> oh my good lord. Oh wow, that's a lot of people. Uh, 07's all you people who are subscribing. Thank you very, 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 very much. Um, <laughs> thank you very, very, very much. I super appreciate it. Char! I see Char, I see Mac Attack, I see Zhao, Pedro, Araga. Oh, I'm messing up the name, I'm sorry. <laughs> thank you for subscribing. New squad mates, welcome in. It's good to have you here. Um, we're checking out the new update. We're looking at ship hunting. <laughs> Bellerophone 07, my dude. 07 to all the new subscribers. Um, we're checking out the new update, and I am a bit of a ship hunter, a multi-tool hunter, so uh, this is an interesting update for me. I'm I'm stoked. I'm loving the new stations. 07, Mac Attack! I'm thinking about uh, what we're trying to test right now. I know a lot of you have been in streams. You were watching Jason for a while. We're trying to see how supercharged slots work for the fighters. So I'm buying three different fighters in the system. In fact, I just bought them. <laughs> there it is. Streamlabs likes to keep up sometimes. If your name didn't pop up, it's because Streamlabs is a butt. And I'm sorry about that. Streamlabs can be a butt. 07 to you too. Let's take a picture of this. So we're taking a look at the decals, and we're taking a look at the um, at the supercharged slot layout and seeing if any of them are the same. Uh, and what controls that? Does it work like staffs for multi-tools? What, what does it work like? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. So these are our three ships. 07 Retro Game Daddy. What a great name. Retro Game Daddy. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <coughs> and Guthrum. Hey, Guthrum. Love to see you here, bud. 07 Double Sykes. You guys are super. I'm like. I'm blown away. Seriously, thank you so much. It really warms my heart. I'm a relatively small channel, certainly compared to Jason, so it's, it's very sweet of you guys. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> Moose Drool, that's a great name too, man. Moose Drool. <laughs> what did Narosi say? Uh, add quote, Streamlabs is a butt. Yeah, it is it is a butt. It is a fact, absolutely. Can't stay, Heather, no worries. Thanks for joining in. Um, 07, Dave. Wow, that did just pour it in. Thank you, guys. Uh, so we're going to check out each of these ships. Um, I'm going to take maybe the... Let's take the fuselage off the this guy. Or maybe the wings. Ooh, droid with the Suddenly, e wing. That's kind of fun. Suddenly, the door was kicked open, and oh hey, what up, y'all? It's, it's Guthrum. <laughs> it, it was a masterstroke. Master um, we've got 
362 people watching right now. Uh, let's do this. How many how many likes are we at? We are at. Da, da, da. Do, 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 do. 120 likes. If we get to 150 likes, we'll run another raffle, guys. <laughs> 07, Steven and 07, Nova Kane for a suck it, Jason. Heck yes, yeah, suck it, Jason. Jason, dude, you rock, man. Guys, let me tell you something. So I've, I've spoken with Jason, like, offline and, and, you know, on DMs and stuff. And what you see is what you get. He's genuinely a nice dude. It's not an act. I, that's honest to God the truth. So thank you very much, Jason. And also, suck it. Suck it, Jason. <laughs> uh, yeah, hit that like button. We want a raffle. So the raffle is going to be to um, uh, to win a redeem. So that Guthrum thing that came up, uh, my my squad mates here, we they you guys are the ones that choose the redeems, um, and you just send it to, send me uh, what you want over Discord or YouTube comment, and I'll make it happen, Captain. So let's take the uh, let's take the let's take the needle nose. Uh, Jason, I think you were looking for the oh no, you were looking for the gull of the vulture. That's a redeem. Um, let's take the needle nose, the droid wings, and the triple thruster. Let's do that. All right, let's get back up to our space station here. We need to upgrade all these ships as well, so we can see where their supercharged slots are. Where are you, space station? Seriously, where are you, space station? R.I.P. headphone users. Triple thruster, disgusting. Yeah, I know. All right, let's not spam them with the redeems. <laughs> There you go, Super Chat. Thank you very much. And 07, my friend. All right, let's pop into the space station here, uh, and we'll... Guys, you know, if this entire update was just being able to summon your ship in the space station, worthwhile update right there. <laughs> Eduardo! 07, welcome in, my friend. God, this looks so cool. I was telling folks before the raid that it reminds me of, like, um, like the Battlestar Galactica grittiness. 81G80Y. Big boy. There it is. I figured it out. I did it, guys. Big boy. <laughs> 07. Yes, Star Slayer, you can summon in the space station. Thank you, God. We needed that. Um. <laughs> All right, don't kill them with redeems. They get the idea. Um, let's see. Upgrade Starship. So first thing we're going to do is upgrade this to an S-Class. Do it. <laughs> Just do it. I'll turn them off. I swear to God, I will. No, I won't. Um, let's get her up to an S class. That'll be B. And they took away the uh, the thing that was the um, max class reached. Thank God. That bug. Master that was the Chief, worst. <laughs> defend this station. Yes, sir. All right, got that one. Right. This and way. one more. Upgrade class, there we go. Okay, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Uh, Let's take a look at what we got here. We got... Okay, it's an X class. That's good. Now we want to apply augmentations. Upgrade starship. And this is the easy way to... I'm in creative right now just because we're testing stuff out. And so this is the easy way, if you're ship hunting, to do this. Okay. We'll take a picture of that so we know what the supercharged slot layout looks. And from this, we wanted to take... What do we want to take? We want to take the cockpit. Whoops. We'll take the cockpit from this one. Huge patch day, so much quality. Heck yeah, John L. Uh, totally agreed. Uh, yeah, we've been missing you, Guthrum. Glad you're here, buddy. Uh, begin salvage analysis. Extract customization module, and from this one we're taking the, I said the, cock. You can suck it! You can suck it! You can suck it! You can all suck it! I will turn Live them off on you. Suck it. No, I won't. That's not how I operate. Uh, okay, so in our exosuit now, we should have that part. Yep, there it is. Man, my exosuit is an absolute mess. What a, what a, what a nightmare thing. Um, alright, we also want, where was the other one? This guy. See? We were able to summon the ship. Perfection, guys. Perfection. Live long and suck it. Perfect. Yeah, Family Guy. That was um, 
Uh, Spock. Z Spock Z. Chose that one. <laughs> that was a really good one. Uh, upgrades. Uh, big, whoop, upgrade Starship first. So this is kind of like, you know how like Zane tests stuff? We're kind of going through like a Zane loop. Says, one reason, but it's over me. Who's coming in? We gotta get away. away. That, that one, I play Apex Legends sometimes. That one's pretty good for that. Uh, upgrade Starship. Uh, let's see this one. Did we hit 150 likes already? Good lord. You guys were fast. Let me check that. I should have been a higher goal. Uh, yeah, 151. All right. Here's how it works. Complete. So if you want... So those were all examples of redeems. Please, please don't kill me with redeems. I would appreciate that so I can talk. Um, we're going to start giveaway here. It's going to be exclamation point raffle in the chat as the command. And you will be able to enter this uh, giveaway. Oh, Darkseid, you can enter again. No worries. That's how that's how things work. Uh, I forgot where I was at. We were at A class. Let's get it back. To, let's get it up to S class. Upgrade Starship and S class. Oh yeah, there we go. Luke and Natoli, thank you so much. Uh, Three dollars to super chat. Did I read your super chat? Hold on. Oh, super sticker! Yay! Woohoo! <laughs> Cute. A little cat. Spock, did you just enter the raffle right now? You and Zabs are banned! <laughs> I'm kidding. Enjoy. <laughs> Guys, we are a little bit silly here. We like to have fun. So, uh, upgrade starship. Um, and it's about community for me. So, let's, let's, let's have some fun, man. Um, this update, I am pleasantly surprised as a ship hunter. Like I said, I think it kills some parts of ship hunting, but I think it brings in other parts of ship hunting. Um, I do like, like I said, um, in the starship, <clears throat> the authenticated ship, my certified fresh TM from Amazon <laughs> or whatever. Um, uh, that is kind of nice, you know, so you can actually go to a system. I, you know, the only way to see whether it actually kills ship hunting is, I don't know if I took a picture, is by, is time. I don't, I don't think it will. It's going to change it. And ship building is going to be a big thing. I think it'll become even bigger. First of all, we can still hunt interceptors. You can still hunt uh, solar ships, right, if you want to do that. Um, it could potentially mess up fighter hunting and explorers and all that. But I think explorers, it actually helps. Very few people like every type of explorer. And there are certain configurations you want. Like maybe you want this, this hull with certain wings. Get this, get the hull. Find the wings you want. Maybe you want something asymmetric. Maybe you want something symmetric. Now you're able to... That's within your power to do. So that's awesome. 34 people in the in the raffle right now. Um, we have one more ship, I think. Oh, wait. From this one, we want to scrap and get the wings. Let's do that. Let's get the wings. Where are you, wings? Begin salvage analysis. Let's take the wings. Wings gone. Hey, L7 Radar W64. Welcome to the Delta Squad, my friend. Good to have you here. Um, which one do I want here? Uh, is it you? Nope. Do I have all? My no, I didn't get the engine yet. There's one more ship. This bug is really annoying. That's the radiant pillar. Don't want that. Uh. Yes, there you are. What's the name of the ship? Funam's Ancestral Indes Indiscretion. <laughs> Jesus, that was that was some that was some that was a biblical smite level name. <laughs> Holy cannoli! L7 <laughs> Shalmaneser, welcome in. Good to have you here. Uh. Symmetric is the only way. You know, Jason, I'm with you, boss, on that one. Got to have that organic free range certified on ships now to prove you didn't build it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And I think that's kind of a fun bit, too. I wonder if other people can see that when they look at your ship. That's something worth testing. Um, 
I'm not getting any audio from stream. Could be me though, Ryan Butnat. What a great name. Um, guys, are you getting audio from the stream? Let me know if you're having issues. Uh, make sure you're getting the game volume. There should be a little bit of background music and my voice, of course. So let me know. Or somebody let me know. Uh, upgrade class. There we go. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. That's B class. Is it actually B class? I think that's A class. So still a little bugged, but not totally. I can't hear any audio at all to answer your question. <laughs> Thank you, Jason. <laughs> Here you just find Divine Spirit. Yeah, so it might be on your end, uh, Ryan Buttnat. Ryan Buttnat. Yeah, I know you can't hear me, but your name, Ryan Buttnat. Choice. <laughs> Yes, I'm getting no audio either. You guys are the worst. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, best squad ever, guys. All right. Um, apply augmentation. Now let's get all these done here. Picture of that. Got it. Let me make sure I got a picture of all three supercharged slot layouts. I'm just going to check my screenshot folder here to do please refresh and make sure we got all of them one two three we got all four supercharged slot layouts now what we have to do is go to a planet real quick oh i want to scrap this one for its thruster right we have the needle we have the wing and we need the thruster Uh, da, da, da. Where to find upgrades? Begin salvage analysis. I don't have the muscle memory there yet. Extract customization module. Uh, engines. That's what I want from this one. Shock is still in all the pew pews. Oh no! <laughs> Martin Bowers. My SWAT is gag. <laughs> sometimes you gotta reload the stream. YouTube gets funky sometimes. Yeah, YouTube is. Well. For lack of a better term, it's YouTube. Uh, so, be kind to it. Do you have... Did I already buy it from you? Is it going to get mad at me? Nope. Oh, I can buy multiple of these. Can I buy multiple? Was I dumb? Come on. It's a little finicky talking to him. Oh, I was dumb. I can buy more, can't I? No, I can't. I can only buy the one. Why is it giving me options to buy more? That's weird. So let's go to a planet, and we're actually going to dupe all these real quick. We'll fly away on our radiant pillar. Uh, John L., funniest thing happened on my permadeath playthrough. The Artemis ship was an ex S-Class exotic. Oh, hot damn. Nice. That's awesome. Um, I will at some point have to test out the multi-tool hunting, see if anything's changed. I doubt it has, but it's always possible. Hey, Curtis L., welcome in. Curtis S., sorry. John, was it John L. and Curtis S., there we go. I did it. <laughs> Let's land. The reason we are here, guys, is we gotta do a little bit of duping. So, if you're unfamiliar with duping methods, this is how you do it. Get a portable refiner. Put it down. In said portable refiner, put whatever you would like to dupe. For example, I would like to dupe, uh, is the, well, I want to do the wings, the fuselage. Is the thruster in here? I want to make sure I didn't miss that. Where are you, thruster? Where are you, thruster? That's the nose, that's the wing. Did it not give me the thruster? What the heck? Not in there? Is it in my freighter? What the heck? Where's my thruster? No! Rude. Do you guys see it anywhere? I'm not seeing it. I got gypped. They, they, they gypped me. Next to wing? Oh, it is. My bad. <laughs> I'm an idiot. My bad. <laughs> Thank you. 
it just looked different, and so I was scared. Um, try booster. Then we'll get another portable refiner, throw it on top. Hopefully this still works. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's make six of them. And you'll see on the right we're getting portable refiners and we're also getting these boosters. I really should have cleaned up my inventory. This is an absolute nightmare. Uh, I believe those stack, though, which is nice. Let's get rid of that, get rid of that. That, that, that. You, you. Congealed nuts. <laughs> nice. Uh, and we got seven of them total. Perfect. Any more of these? Yes, we got a few. There we go. And let's put you over here. Let's put you. Let's move you over here. You over here. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Alright, let's do that again for the wings. <laughs> you knew I was going to dupe it? I, I mean, I'm not going to hunt for While I'm on stream, I'm not going to hunt for a thousand of the same ship. Um, if, I'm play, if I'm playing my normal save, or like a survival save, or a save where it's more of like a um, immersed thing, like I'm playing for me, for funsies, then yeah. Or if I'm doing like a fugitive challenge, or you know, what have you. One, two... Three, four, five, six. And then we'll get rid of them. Two, three, four, five, six. Uh, Shanky, <laughs> is a fun name. What are, uh, what, uh, what if they're going to fix this glitch? I don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah, I know. It's, it's even worse if you're like on console, for example, where you can't uh, use save editor. And save editor is certainly not up to date for this um, this update yet, but it will be eventually. And so you can use save editor if you're on PC, but if you're not on PC, you need the... I, mean, I don't know, for the creative stuff, when I was playing purely on PC, I needed the duping glitch. So I, I feel you there. Base computer to dupe is faster because you can dupe uh, many refiners and things at the same time. I've never used that glitch before. I should check it out. Let's put this here. Or that specific dupe I have not done before. Alright, let's put you here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we destroy all of you. Oop, I think I made an extra one there. That's okay. Not the end of the world. We will survive. Oh, I didn't. We're good. We're good. We're good. We got seven of each. That's excellent. That's what we're looking for. We got a lot of meaty chunks. And salty fingers. <laughs> I didn't know salty fingers was a thing, man. Until the, la the last stream where we were uh, touring Dredge and Felix's hotel. Underwater hotel. Alright, let's go back to the space station. <clears throat> and then, so what we're going to do is hop to a few different systems. We'll look at some of the ships along the way. We'll look at the multi-tools along the way. And we're also going to check to see if the supercharged slots change based on location. So we did verify, I think, before we got the raid that um, the supercharged slots do not correspond to the supercharged slot configuration of any of the parts. Oh, I meant to dupe the cores as well. It's alright. We'll do it next. System. Yep, Robert Graham. Uh, dupe the S-Class. Yep, that's on me. Forgot to do that. Is the nutrient processor better for dupes? I was told this in passing and never tested. Uh, it's great for storage. I've never used it for duping before. Not to say that you can't. Um, I'm not, like, an expert by any stretch on duping. Um, I know the portable duping glitch. I used to use medium and large refiners. Those used to be faster because you had multiple spots, but they're harder to line up and do now. And the portable one is, it's easy enough. It gets the job done, you know? Okay. And guys, make sure you are live, by the way, in the bottom left. Uh, there should be like a little red dot that says you're live. If not, scroll all the way to the right. YouTube likes to be funky and uh, make people not live sometimes. And yeah, we'll put the thruster in. I don't know about y'all. That's a pretty sleek looking ship. Colors aren't half bad either. 
Uh, let's keep let's keep it mostly white this time. I, I, white and purple are awesome colors. I'm sorry, they're just they're just cool looking. Oh, white when you make it metallic is chrome. Interesting. Well, I don't like that as much. I mean, I do, but I mean, purple all the way, baby. God, that looks so cool. Maybe a tinge of yellow. Maybe extra white. Nah, I think we want the purple accents as well. So we catch the tips of the wings in purple, maybe? Yeah, the tips of the E-wings and the little stripe on the top of the triple thruster. Or the, what is it called now? <laughs> Tri Tri thruster or whatever. Uh, let's assemble this bad boy. Proceeds. The Son of Inevitability. Uh, let's swap it with the current ship. For funsies. Whoa, look at... Well, that's a bit of a... Huh. Huh, good thing that's a hologram, I guess. <laughs> Hot pink for the win. Uh, that's, that's true. Um, but I will say, guys, like, for example, that beautiful periwinkle color and the kind of the dusty rose colors you get in ships... You can't find them in that color palette. So that still only exists naturally hunting. So that's another reason that naturally hunting is still good. So I am in the maybe category for did this sh kill ship hunting. I don't think so. It's definitely not a yes. I think it's changed ship hunting. I think it's added another element to the game. Um, overall, if it makes the majority of folks happy, I, I think that's a good thing, you know? So. Okay. Apply augmentation. Wow, I can tell you right now. Oh, wow, what does this mean? Is it random? It must be based on the parts. Oh, wow, okay. Holy cannoli. Okay, so there's... Oh, my God, okay. You guys are going to like what I'm going to have to do to test this out. But one, first of all, three supercharged slots next to each other. That's 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 hot. Can we get two hundred likes? Maybe Ancap Gamer, welcome in Ancap. Uh, same decals as your last construction, FYI. Oh, good point, Hunt. Thank you for the reminder. Let's take a look at that. Yep, we've got. I think. Yep, the Alien Nine Nine, not a recycling symbol. Decals are another thing you're still gonna have to hunt for, guys. If you want some cool decals, or the decals that you want. I think they put the Alien 99. It's just, it's gotta be a nod to Bob, right? <laughs> it's the only reason. Josh Fall, a ship will show authenticated starship in the menu if it is found in the wild. Yes, yes, we went over that. Uh, for sure, uh, you are completely right. Right here, it'll say uh, authenticated ship, certified fresh, Amazon, TM. Um, uh, you see, the son of inevitability here does not have that, so. <laughs> For sure, yeah. So, yes, great observation there, Josh. Um, ship hunting the same, but now more reason for all to hunt. That may be true, John. I think end game content ship hunting it does destroy a few things. There is, like, I'll compare it a little bit to multi tool hunting. So, when you find that multi tool, just, the, just having found it naturally with all the colors and stuff, God, that's super cool. I think what I, me personally, and this is just me, I think I would have loved if. They didn't add the color option, but added more colors to the palette that's available out in the wild. So all the colors we're seeing in this new palette, which they introduced new ones, I would love to see that out in the wild. That'd be cool. And then if I wanted to find, if I wanted this chrome nose, I'd have to find that purple chrome nose because I have to, I have to saw off this nose and put it onto a new ship. I think I would like that, but I can, you know, it's not like necessary. Necessary. It's that's more of a nitpick. Um, I think that makes that I think that would that might be the fine line between making some folks happy and not and it would still make the ship customization folks I think reasonably happy and it would make the legacy hunters maybe happy as well but you can't always have it both ways so here's the issue what's the system called nippus whatever let's take a picture of that let's uh, go down to the planet and drop a base there as well just so I have system one. And then we're going to go to a new system, guys. Jay Cruz, what's going on? Had to leave and take a long call. Does the space station dictate stats, supercharged slots for created ships? 
uh, figuring it out right now. So we've done we've done one system. We're gonna pop over to another system. Um, but one thing that's interesting, guys, is in this system I have created another ship that had parts from three random ships in the system, and the supercharged slot were different. Hello there. Hello there, indestructible. What's going on? Welcome in. On a self-built ship, the colors are messed up in multiplayer. I saw that in Rice's stream. Absolutely, yeah. So that's... But multiplayer colors have been messed up for a while in multiplayer, so... It, I think it's universe... Like, I know Captain Steve and Ricey were looking at each other's ships, and Steve made this beautiful red metallic ship that showed up as just bright blue. <laughs> Not ideal. Um, so here's what we're going to do. We got 40 people in the raffle. I'll give you another 30 seconds to join that raffle, and then uh, I will end it. And we'll see who gets to pick a redeem. Okay, let's rename this base. Uh, System one test. System one test. Okay. Let's go to another system. Uh, Pez S says, "I got to welcome in by the way. I got bored of ship hunting, but this new update has refreshed my desire to go and do ship hunting all over again." And you know what? That's awesome. And so that's the positive side of this is that it has reinvigorated some folks. I hope that reinvigoration is not not, not specifically you Pez, I mean just in general, uh, is for a long time for a lot of people. Because I know ship hunting like as it was had a very long lasting sort of like a uh, I like this and I want to keep doing this. I could do this for hours and hours and hours, weeks and weeks and weeks, years and years and years for a lot of the legacy folks. Um, I'm hoping this has that same appeal. I, it will for me. I think personally, I will enjoy it still. And I still finding like finding ships in the wild. So, like, it doesn't matter for me that much. Some people may have a different opinion. And everyone's opinion is perfectly fair and valid. We're all allowed to have opinions. Um... What I can say is this is definitely going to draw people into the game. It is it is a cool update. Uh, I'm so far for me in the in the little I've played it so far, uh, I am receiving it very positively. Super super cool. There we go. I was looking for a three star Viking. We'll go there. <clears throat> Uh, Jacob, uh, Collapse Saddle, also a great man. You guys have awesome names. Uh, welcome in. Jay Cooper, anyone know if it's up and running for Xbox? I don't believe so. As of an hour ago, says Shock, no. 40-year-old gamer, welcome in. I'm wondering why they chose Explorers and Shipbuilding instead of another. Um, I mean, I think Fighter, Explorer, Hauler are, like, the three mainstays. I would like for them to add shuttles, honestly. I know that's kind of a hot take, but... Uh, I'm gonna end the raffle here. Close entries, and let's pick a winner. Drum roll. <laughs> Suck it, Jason. <laughs> what? L7 <laughs> is in the chat for Jason. What? That was the biggest raffle we've had in the one. That is hilarious. I'm going to have a bunch of people here about to say rigged. I guarantee it. Scott, there it is. <laughs> That's absolutely hilarious. Guys, you're giving me way too much. I know, indestructible, I'm in for it. I couldn't rig it if I wanted to. I wouldn't even know how. <laughs> Son of a biscuit. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'll, I'll send him a DM if he's not here anymore. I know he was streaming for a long time. I know that could be tiring. Perfectly rigged. Oh, good lord. Kung Fu pants are welcome. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat a lot of poop for that one. For sure. We were saying in Jason's stream that in the trailer there is no explorer, but there is Yahtzee! a shuttle in the options. Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah go. Also, welcome in. <laughs> nice. Um, I, I think I, I saw um, something that Captain Steve put up that said something kind of similar. So, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling that. I, I think you're right. Uh, let's do this, this, this. Let's come down here. I don't know how you're a freaking engineer. You can't, you can write code. I can write some code, but I'm not a programmer by any stretch of the imagination. In aerospace engineering, you learn a little bit of programming, but not a ton. Um, I know how to make things fly. That's nice. 
It's probably more important, right? <laughs> uh, let's do it this way, just because I'm paranoid like that. Or OCD like that. Locate trade outpost. Hans says, can confirm Delta is not a programmer. Yeah. We, I struggled in the programming classes I took, and I, I'll, I'll, be, I'll eat crow or I deserve it. Hunt did help me out quite a bit. <laughs> He's better at it than I am, for sure. <clears throat> Maxi Bloke says, big boy, pirate stations look the same, uh, but you can scrap ships there, and the same as normal ones. Okay, cool. So I'm hoping they add shuttles in. It would be cool if they added interceptors in, too, but... I don't know. I, st I also like natural hunting as well, so I don't know. I'm a little bit torn there, but I I it, it would be a lot more complex. There are a lot more parts to hunt for, for both shuttles and interceptors. They work closer together than fighters, haulers, and um, and explorers do. So let's come up here. We're going to drop a base here. We're going to call this guy second system. And we're gonna we're gonna speed this up a bit so that uh, we can uh, do this a little differently. Do you think they'll add all classes to customize? Um, all so all ships? You mean all different types of ships? I don't know. I don't see any reason they couldn't. A solar seemed relatively easy to add. I, I I think once they've done it, I think. Whoa! Oh, the system is baller. What? Hold on. I'm sorry. I, I don't see any reason they can't. Or they won't. Or they. Won't, shall we say. Uh, not you. You're the ship I just made. Oh, what do I give up? What do I give up? What do I give up? You. Okay, first of all, see, so this is the thing. As you're hunting for ships, you're just going to find cool ships. Don't you love invisible clouds? Well, that didn't work. That didn't work at all. I mean, this is this is just a cool looking ship, right? Look at that. Long nose, oh god, I'm sorry, hot rod, vector wings with a fin, and a mono thruster. These are the new names. It the uh, it's technically a three tone. We got kind of a pinkish color here. Uh your fire engine red, maybe a little bit of orange. See this color I don't think exists on the palette. Neither does this red, I don't think. So there are some colors that don't exist on that color palette. Gashy of the Void. That's a weird name. Uh, let's exchange this one. Yeah. So you'll just find cool ships as you go do the ship hunting. So, I don't know. It's it's definitely not the end of the world here, guys. For ship hunting. If anybody's saying it's the end of the world for ship hunting, that's... I don't think that's right. <laughs> uh, second... What did I call the first one? Well, we'll call it second ship test. Whatever. I forgot what we called it. Now let's do base power enabled. And let's add us this guy. And save beacon. Come here, come here, thank you. Hey, 07! Uh, Mark Murphy, welcome to the Delta Squad, my friend. Let's do a reload. Guys, 07 is in the chat for Mark. And for all our subscribers, thank you so much. Uh, I super appreciate it. In fact, when Delta Wife came down here to give us the thumbs up, she actually brought me a shot of Jameson. We had some left over. Uh, to, to celebrate the new update and all our new members uh, and subscribers. So, hey guys. Here's to you. Cheers. We'll, uh... Oof. It's a Wednesday. Oof. This is gonna hurt tomorrow for work, but here's to you guys. Oh, God, okay. <laughs> Suddenly, Lord. the door was kicked open, and oh, hey, what up, y'all? It's Guthrum! It was a master stroke. Cheer shock, Guthrum. When I get a chance, gotta check out the new base parts. Yeah, absolutely. We're gonna be going for a while tonight. Ooh, was that a heavy coming in? You see that? Oh, no, maybe not. Ooh, can't really see what's going on here. Ooh, look at that. Beautiful ship as well. We did a reload. Let's go back up to the space station. Uh, actually, we do want three new ships. We do want three new fighters. Let's see what we can give up. I don't want to give up the Radiant Pillar yet. We can give up 
you, I think. Right? What ship is that? No, that's not. That's the ship I just have. Oh god. Okay, let's give up. Let's give you up. Buy you? Going for a while, that's what she said. Nice. <laughs> no, you're testing the decal and the supercharged slots with the Duke parts. No, I know, Hunt, but I need a second set of ships um, to test something a little bit different. But yes, you're right. I will be. But I'm buying a second set of ships as well. Uh, we'll exchange. And I need one more fighter. That's different from... Hey, Elijah Smith, 07. Welcome to the Delta Squad, my friend. Oh, Sam is in chat. You. Okay. Let's get you as well. So we have a picture of each of these guys. So this is like a little bit of that hardcore testing we're doing. Uh, let's do one more reload to get another ship. Another fighter. Oh, let's do a save first. One more fighter, and then we will do the duping option. Reload restore point. Yep. No update for Xbox yet. You guys must be pulling your hair out, Xbox users. I'm so sorry. I know this is this has got to be tough. It's got to be really tough. My phone's about to die. That's no bueno. Oh, great. All right. So when you reload like that, guys, five new ships will come in and land on the. On the uh, trade post. There should be three in the distance that kind of dip below the horizon. We missed them, but they, they did. Um, come around, come around, come around. We got the baller hauler. We need one more fighter. This is why we went to a Viking system. So we could just get more fighters. We have this one already, so we don't want that one again. We don't want that explorer. Looks like it's directing traffic. One, two, three, four, five. One more reload. I still think naming or saves was the best update since Shock. <laughs> no, not wrong. Boxman, what's going on? Does anyone have the update on Xbox? Nope, I'm afraid not yet. AJ Coolness Gaming, PS4 got a 4.61 update 10 minutes ago. Maybe PS5 too. I believe PS5 already has the update. Yeah, John. Uh, so, like, remember, Hello Games releases the update probably to all the different platforms. PC, they control. They can do whatever they want. Oh, you come and land. I want you. I want you. Or you. Oh, I want both of you. God, I love ships. No Man's Sky is great. This game is awesome. Either of you landing is fine. Okay, you come by. Ooh, is that a droid? Oh, look at that one. I think it's a droid wing. Uh, but we'll take this guy. Uh, let's give up. Actually, we can just buy it. Uh, no. Yeah, let's buy it. The enemy slayer. I love it. Make an offer. Negotiate. Ooh, look at that. Yellow, a little bit of gray. Kind of darkish blue. Almost purple with some... Yeah, the yellow there. Nice. Spear of the Wind. Great name, too. Let's straight up buy it. Ship happens. That's right. 40-year-old gamer. Ship happens. Come around here. Grab a picture of it so we know what the decals are. Thank you. And to the space station. Let's drop a save. To the space station. Where are you, space station? Where are you, where are you, where are you? Over here. There we go. <laughs> God, I love ships. You know, Maxi, it was very in my soul. I really do love ships, man. I really, really do. Uh, does the PC, PC version have the Nanai glitch like PlayStation? I don't know what the Nanai glitch is, Agent And, and welcome in, Agent Dat, my good friend. How you doing? Uh, I'm not sure. Somebody here might be able to tell me. Jacob Clapsaddle. <laughs> Great. God, you, guys, you guys' names are through, through the roof today. Friggin' awesome. 07, and welcome to the Delta Squad. Uh, so this is uh, Minerals and Affluent, and it's yellow. Oh, kind of like construction-y. That kind of works. So I love the procedural generation of the stations. That's pretty awesome. You always seem to have these guys on the right, these arms, and a force field that blocks me from doing anything. Probably. 
Let me steal from you. I can't. Oh, no. Oh, you guys are out of stock of everything, too. <laughs> Everything's always out of stock. Um, so, you know, a lot of people have asked, is No Man's Sky going to be dead when Light No Fire comes out? The answer, it has to be no. One, it's such a love project of uh, <laughs> uh, Sean, Murray, and the team. Um, love project. That was such a weird way to say it. It's a passion project. It's not their love project. Gross. That was like a, that was the weirdest way I could have said that. <laughs> no. No, no. No, Delta. Please stop. Um, but I think they've added stuff here. Like, all this here is an empty mezzanine. And it looks like these could be doors one day? Or booths or kiosks or something? So I think they are leaving space open for more updates in the future. Will we get them with the same level of frequency? Honestly, maybe. I think most of Hello Games, the staff, is working on Light No Fire now anyway. I think what we're getting right now is the skeleton No Man's Sky crew. If anything, once Light No Fire enters like a, we're giving updates and more maintenance, we might get some more people back developing for No Man's Sky. So, I don't know, guys. I, I think it's got some future. You're buying and scrapping ships in preparation for the Xbox One X update? Heck yeah, man. That's a great idea. Uh, Deviant Spirit, love the name. I read that even with the new game, they are keeping a crew specifically dedicated to No Man's Sky. I exactly, exactly, right? So I, I cannot imagine. Oh, so this is a little bit annoying. Yeah, okay. Wow. It looks like this guy's wearing like a, <laughs> he's wearing an N95. <laughs> White, that's matching his face. Uh, let's get, I can't buy more than one, right? Let me buy... Oh! I'm creative, though. Let me buy this. And guys, I know this is a little frustrating, but I'm actually going to go... Um, to the base I just made real quick, real quick, real quick. And dupe this so I don't have to keep buying these. Uh, your bases. <laughs> System 1 test, second ship test. My naming schemes all over the place. We're going to dupe these real quick and come right back up. Uh, da, 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 da. Nanite glitch equals buy a module, then sell it back, and it gives you 4.2 billion nanites? What? Guess what we're, guess what we're about to test. <laughs> That's insanity. What? What? That's crazy. <laughs> Are you serious? That's got to be a joke. You got me pulling my leg, man. There's no way that's actually a glitch right now. <laughs> Whoops. Somebody somebody put, like, they used the, like, encoding, like, max or something. When they, or end, to go to the end of a, a vector line or something like that when they didn't mean to. <laughs> that's a big whoopsie. We all try. We all try logging in next week just to find that the game's been shut off. <laughs> they gave us the update, and a week later they shut it down. We're done with No Man's Sky. NMS is such a love project. God dang it, Hunt. <laughs> Had to quote me. Had to quote me. Get rid of you one, two. Oh, there were a lot of these. There should be more. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, how many of these can we stack? Quite a few, actually. That's good. Get rid of you. I need to clean up my inventory. This is just this is just embarrassing. Okay. Save. Quick reload. Just because I'm paranoid. And I want to see the multi-tool. <laughs> my new name will be Sir Dupe a lot, says Retro Game Daddy. <laughs> nice dude. Yeah, hell yeah. Um, the 40-year-old gamer says, what are they going to do with the Remembrance computers we could interact with in the old stations? That's a great question. I'm not sure. That was like the, the BP glitch when Pirates released. Uh, it would sell but not remove the item from inventory. Ah, interesting. Okay. Am I cheating again? You know it. You know it, Shock. There's no way to cheat in this game. If you're having fun, that's the whole point. 
Raven Wolf, welcome in. I can confirm the glitch. I sold some modules I got from the fighting pirates, and later I realized that I have so many nanites that the number had has had to scroll to show it. Well, let's buy a module. Let's test that real quick. We'll buy an Exo craft research model or whatever. This guy's what well, the lighting here is a little off. They're gonna have to work with the textures. A boost module? Hey, oh man, you know, I didn't want that. What's your return policy, buddy? You have a return policy? Let's see. Uh yeah, I really don't want this one. I'm sorry. That seemed relatively uh benign. That might have been patched out. That sounds like like they put two hot fixes out real quick. Sounds like that's something they would have uh, patched out. Do, 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 do. Uh, I missed somebody named Rusty. Yeah, Rusty, yeah, welcome in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Womp, womp indeed. Welcome in, Rusty. If I missed you. AJ Cool is gaming. It happened to you. If it happened to you. If it happened to me, it could happen to you. Right? Mm. Okay, so we're going to use the same exact parts that we did in the other system. We'll even use the same color scheme. Just to keep things the same. White here, and I think purple here. It's called, oh, and it's called the Eagle of Freedom. <laughs> the, these are amazing names. Did they add more names? The Eagle of Freedom. Oh. That was my eagle noise. Oh. It's an eagle being strangled, apparently. Um, assemble. And oh, and I don't know what, the, I should check out what the maneuverability and damage pinch are. This is completely different. I can tell you right now, it's completely different. Uh, what's my current ship? Uh, no, add to collection. Wow. It's completely different. Wow, okay. Interesting. Let's put some more of the same parts in. Let's just do it. Let's just do it again. Exactly the same. Can you change the color over and over after building a ship? Once you build the ship, I think um, it's done. Once you've selected everything, that's it. Delta, can you search the space station? Oh, <laughs> nice and Anything destructible. Dirty or dingy or dusty. <laughs> Uh, on PS5 modules, all show is negative nanite cost. Got the 4.61 patch, and they still display as in the negatives. Hmm, interesting. Oh, we uh, asked that question, right? Uh, new member Delta One. Uh, now that you made that ship, can you change color? Okay, there we go. Uh, I don't think so. Try it. Try changing the colors of the ship. Well, we're gonna make it again right now, and I'll try. I, so I did try to interact with the terminal, and I couldn't. So, that's an indication. That I can't. Same colors, purple. It's called the Eagle of Freedom again. White, purple. There we go. Assemble. Same supercharged slot layout, I believe. Uh, let me check with the uh, with my screenshots here. I know you guys can't see this bit, but you'll have to trust me, I guess. Yep, it is the exact same supercharged slot layout. Um, do I want to add to the collection? Yes, I guess so. And now I can't interact with this. So, first things first, let's check this. Uh, that's our, what's the layout here? Gravity Needler. It's a C-Class on this side. I believe on this side it'll also be a C-Class. Oh! A-Class! Oh! <laughs> it 
Yes! Oh! Yes! Okay, this is great. This is great news. That means, oh my god, on some space stations, you can get two different classes of cabinets. This speeds up multi-tool hunting so much. Oh my god. This is kind of a game changer. A class here. And a C-class cabinet here. And this is why I reloaded on that planet. I am going to go to my ship. I can't go to my ship. I can. I'm going to reload right here. Reload restore point. Oh, that's big news. <clears throat> You're buying C-class reactors, then upgrading ship class with memory fragment class shards. Yeah, that's, that, that's, that's a fine way to do it. You can see that I have a bunch of those here as well. It's all a mess in my inventory, but... So I reloaded here. We'll get two different multi-tools, because now we are drawing from the pool of multi-tools. C-class and A-class? Yeah, there we go. Oh, man. Oh, does this change the game for multi-tool hunting? Huge. Hey, Elan Paul and the viewers just joined. Oh, seven, Elan Paul. Welcome in, buddy. Elan Paul is the winner of the last speedrun challenge. He beat me by a minute, the guy. <laughs> he did a great job. Super earned it. Thank you so much, Elan Paul Raid. Welcome in, MJ Mirny. Good to have you guys here. This is huge for multi tool hunting, guys. Um, the other thing I'm going to do right now is my ship is over there. I did a reload. I am just going to build the ship again and see if the supercharged slots change. We're just going to build it again. See if it's based on, like, random number generation, based on timestamp of reload or something like that. Keep the same colors. Purple, metallic, white, and purple. I, I can hear my dog barking in her sleep. She has this cute little whoop, whoop, whoop. She must be above me in our bedroom. Eagle of Freedom still. We'll assemble it. Same supercharged slot layout. Okay. Let's go ahead and reload our restore point again. And I'm going to restart the game. Just completely restart the game. Uh, Elan Paul, thank you so much for the raid, dude. Really appreciate it. 07, buddy. Um, hope I said hi to everybody coming in. Is this awesome or what? It's pretty great. I'm really enjoying it. You can upgrade multi-tools with them, too. Absolutely, Retro, uh, retro Game Daddy. Yeah, so... Uh, I Multi-tool hunting is one of my favorite things to do in the game. So, yeah, absolutely. It's really cool. It's I, I think it's... Like, using these fragments for, for exos... This one uh, can be used on exosuit, starship, and multi-tool. This one on um, starship and multi-tool, which is pretty great. I usually keep my multi-tool fully maxed out, whatever it is at the time. Yeah, this is just a, a random hunting save, so this multi-tool is kind of crap. But So that it always goes to either the starship... It goes to the class, always goes to the starship, and the inventory either goes to starship or exosuit. Yeah, gotta start a new save, Shock. That's that's the right answer. Um, let's go ahead and I'm gonna quit to desktop. The screen's gonna go kind of black there for you guys. Um, and we're gonna come back in. And so, some of the procedural generation for the game uh, depends on when you sign in. So, we're just gonna re sign into the game and see if the supercharged slots are based on that. It should come back up in a second. There you go. Who? How are you doing today, Elan Paul? What'd you? Hey, what's your thoughts? You like it? You don't like it? Christian Craig, I'm just waiting for the Xbox update to drop. Oh man, I know you guys. You guys must be absolutely dying. Got a couple people playing right now. Awesome, awesome. Uh, what platforms? Uh, PlayStation, it would seem. Oh, PC and uh, is that PlayStation or Xbox? That might be Xbox. I think it's PlayStation. Uh, let's go to the mod save. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm new to PC, relatively speaking. Uh, only in the last, like, maybe six months have I done PC. I've been playing a lot of... Uh, I did a lot of Xbox first. I'm gonna look and make something to eat. All right, no worries, Elon Paul. And you love it! Awesome, awesome. Most excellent. Yeah, get some food. Enjoy. I'm gonna buy, I wonder what the odds are for that to happen. A worthy challenge for uh, Zunt, Lava, and Delta. Yeah! Uh, so, I'm gonna put a dog in the mask. Now find a space station with two S-class cabinets. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, right. I wish. Maybe. Um, let's go ahead and see. 
And what does it give us? The Eagle of Freedom still. Let's do the same configuration. Assemble. Exact same superstar charge slot layout. We're actually going to back out of that. And what we're going to do is a little bit of management here. We're going to move these guys. Uh, so that's my first row of guys. Let's move. Oops. Oh, jeez. Didn't mean to do that. Let's, put you, let's do a little bit of inventory management here. Put you here. Put you here. Put you over here for now. Let's fill up all that. Okay, let's call in the three ships we just bought. Uh, so we got uh, this one here, that one, and that one. Okay, yeah, that's right. Okay, so we got this guy in this system. We're going to scrap this one. Uh, what are the other ones? Let's scrap this one for the, uh, I want to say the engine for this one. Maybe engine for this one. Uh, we'll get the... <laughs> we'll get the cockpit from this one, and we'll get the wings from this guy. Oh, that's got a dorsal, though. Eh, whatever. We'll go with it. You Thunder! Welcome! Hunt asked a question. I wonder what pirate stations look like. Uh, I have heard that they are the same. That is just me having heard it. Upgrade Starship. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Uh, because we don't need to do that now. We know that... We know that the supercharge slot layout is not dependent on any of the specific supercharge slot layouts from the ships that you uh, get it from. So from this one, we're going to take the thruster. Where are you, the engine? Single thruster. Where are you? Right there. Let's put you over here. Okay, what ship showed up? Don't want that one. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Droid wing. I'm going to have to move the sun like it's going to matter. Droid wing with the, uh, with a dorsal fin. Uh, we're in this Dorajong if you like this one. Not a really great picture, though. But there you go. If you like that guy. Uh, let's pull in. What are we pulling in? Let's pull in this guy. We're going to get the wings from this guy. Coming around here. Can you edit the Sentinel ships too? Asks Alien666. You cannot. As far as we can tell right now, uh, interceptors are not um, able to be changed. Uh, Cobalt Dale Gaming. Welcome in, guys. Check out Cobalt Dale Gaming as well. Another content creator. Extract customization module. Let's salvage the... Off this one, I want the... Oh god, what was this one? I think I want the wings. This is the one with the heavy boosters, I think. Yep, it was. Got the wing part we wanted. Okay. And then one more ship that we're going to bring in. Oh, look at those horizon wings on that guy. This guy. This one we want the cockpit. Is that the right ship? Yes, it is. Thank you. Thank you. This is just a good ship. Honestly, this ship I would just keep because it's right now, as you can see, <laughs> certified fresh. <laughs> Amazon T. <laughs> oh man, that joke's not gonna get old for me. I'm sorry. Yep, Deviant Spirits, right? Just fighters, haulers, and explorers. Though in the trailer we saw a shuttle, so maybe they're working on it. Uh, they might be saving some of that stuff for later updates, like kind of low hanging fruit for them. Like maybe they're like, oh, we know we can do this, but this is a big update on its own. Let's slow roll some of that stuff out later. Let's have them work out the bugs with the easier ships and then start rolling in the hard ships. That's. That's reasonable. Extract customization module. Let's take the cockpit out of this bad boy. Make sure we received it. It's there. Okay, now the annoying part. Let's a diggity dupe it. We'll dupe it. We'll come back. And we'll uh, see what... So these are the same... These are three. It's the same. It's a. It's a. It's a different system, and now all the parts are from this system. So we'll see what that does. I don't think it's gonna do anything, honestly. I think I think it's. 
it's based on both parts and system. I think you need both for the supercharge slots. Because we're kind of ruling everything out. Uh, yeah, we want this cockpit. The hot rod. Come here. Hello. Thank you. And, uh, guys, remind me in the chat. I, I You know, I'm... I haven't done much staff stuff, but my understanding is for staffs is that parts, I lost count, the parts for the staff and the location all dictate the supercharge slot layout. That's my understanding, but I could be wrong. Let's catch up a chat. Fuse to run, but you have to preset parameters for the ship parts you have to find before leaving the system. Ooh, I like that a lot, Shock. That's really cool. Hmm. Only one thing that's an issue with that is not all parts are going to be available in the system. So it might be that you never leave the system. But I like the general concept of having to find certain parts. Or maybe you need to modify a ship in a certain way. Or build a certain style ship before you can leave the system. I like that. Permadeath Fugitive style? That's a good idea. That's a certified fresh idea. TM. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, let's deep these guys. Come in here. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Uh, this guy. Back up a bit and do with this bad boy. Oh, didn't want that. I lost count. We'll do one more. There we go. Uh, going off, uh, gonna be off and on, uh, on and off AFK, how he had eye surgery yesterday and needs, uh, occasional help. No worries, Mirani. Take care of, uh, your hubby. And, uh, hey, the squad wishes him well. I certainly do. And I'm sure everybody else does as well. I just spent a long time taking care of my dad, so I, I get it. <laughs> you know, you gotta, you, you, we, we all gotta look out for each other, right? And then one more set of parts. Here we go. Here we go. It's just the engines left. If I could find them. If I could find them. There they go. They look different. Because they, they're from like... <laughs> go ahead and quote me. They're from behind. So uh, they look different. So I'm, I'm like <laughs> looking for the wrong thing. But... Let's add a few of you. Dupe the heckers out of these. So, uh, guys, I don't know. You guys have probably watched more streams today than I have. Have you seen anybody discover that the multi-tool cabinets are can be different? I haven't seen that yet, but I have admittedly been pretty in and out with work. Okay, let's check this uh, set of parts up at the space station, but I think... Uh, oh, Kiwi Pirate 07, Delta Wife, she who makes Let's All This Possible. Dude, seriously, 07. Uh, that's, a, that's a like and a heart on that one for sure. Uh, and, oops, and let me scroll up here so a few... There it is, thank you, Super Chat. Um... Only the head and location matters for the staffs. Ooh. The head and location. We can test that. We'll test that. Uh, I like the idea of a mad builder style challenge, but ship fleet building head to head. Ooh, that's a good idea, Hunt. I like that. Select a ship from somewhere like the index, Maxi, or your Discord, and participants have to make it as quick as possible. First done wins. Oh, that's a fun one too. A race. Delta One, may I join you and trade a ship to you? Then you can learn the parts. What do you mean? 
uh, and just learn the parts. What do you mean? Oh, like get the parts from you? I want to. Uh, that that might be worth testing. Let me test a few more things, but that might be worth testing actually. Uh, uh, Star Slayer. Unfortunately, I gotta go. It's been a pleasure. Good night. It's been a pleasure having you, my friend. Thank you for being here. Um, guys, I know this is frustrating, but because of what was just said, uh, I need to test one more thing. We're gonna, we're just gonna dupe a few more of those original parts. Just one, one set of duping, just so we have it available. Because what we need to test now, which is a little frustrating, is if there is a specific part, whether it's the cockpit or the wings or the, the engine that dictate whether um, what the supercharge slots are. That is definitely worth testing. And I know you guys have seen a lot of streams today. This is probably something a little bit different uh, that you haven't quite seen yet. So I figured let's give that a shot. I'm sure Jason really deep dived into this during his stream. Got the droid wing. The needle nose. We just need the triple thruster. And we'll just get another stack of the uh, hyperdrive cores just to be safe. Triple thruster, there you are. Tri booster. I got it. I'm sorry, I'm using the old names, guys. But it's going to take a little while to learn the new ones, so. Roger, Roger. All right. Sweet. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, keep wanting to call you Joe. <laughs> Indestructible. But I respect the name change. So. I guess Bill. <laughs> Indestructible. It does roll off the tongue. I like it. Alright. Do a save so I don't lose all that I just did. And to the space station. What's a triple thruster? Yeah, exactly, right? So what we'll do is we're going to use the... Do I have a picture of the supercharge slots? I think I do. I think I do of the eagle, whatever this thing was called. Oh, let's go to screenshots. Yeah, the eagle of freedom. That was from this uh, space station. So I know what those supercharged slots look like. And I will use that as a reference. Okay. Let's go here. Let's start with, uh, let's go left to right. We'll start with the fuselage. We're going to keep the needle fuse. Uh, let me make sure my inventory is set up right. Get rid of this. Put the tri booster back. All right, we'll start with the needle. Fuselage. Reactor core will keep the same. Wings. Okay. In the first system, we got the droid wings. Oh, crap. That's not what I want. Not the droid wings. Uh, this is first system. Let's do second system stuff now. Second system is the hard frame S wing and the mono thruster. We'll keep this about the same. I know it's a slightly different configuration. But we'll keep that about the same. It's called the Favorite Ariasa 8. Let's assemble it. It's going to be a different supercharged slot layout. These two already don't match. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And 3 down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 3 down. It's actually worth upgrading it, though. Add to collection. Let's upgrade it. Uh, upgrade Starship. Take it to S-Class and see. Because with the multi-tools, sometimes... Oops, sometimes you get uh, supercharged slots in weird places. Like, three of them are the same, and then the rest are different. But this one's all over the place. Yeah, this is completely different. So, let's reload our restore point. And now this time, let's keep the wings the same. From the first system. And we'll do the other two parts from the second system. See what that does. <clears throat> uh, 
Uh, Scott runs speed on the ship building. It seems changing any of the parts affects the supercharged slots potentially. So we're doing this very systematically here. Um, and we'll see what that we'll see what that does. It could work. It might not work. It might be they made it such that it's all the parts and the system you get you went to. The other thing to test is, let's say we have the same part. Let's say we have. Uh, the the mecha three wings or whatever um what if i got that from two different systems uh and i use all the same part i use the same cockpit the same uh thruster or engine but i use the mecha three wings from one system versus another system what does that do mm. something we could probably pretty easily test All right. This time we're gonna keep the we're gonna use the cockpit from the second system, reactor core. We're gonna use the wings from the first system, which was the droid wings, and we we'll use the thruster from the second system, which is the mono. Here we go. Boom, 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 and boom. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Assemble. <laughs> uh, completely different. Yeah, it's completely different. Let me check back in the stream real quick, but I'm pretty sure that's completely different from what we had. Yep. Completely different. Oh, God. This is all over the place. That's a cool-looking configuration, though. Look at that. Hot damn. I do like that there are colors out there in the wild that you can't get by by building ships. That that does make me a little bit happy. Reload one more time. We'll test this last bit. And then maybe we'll just do some general exploration and seeing what the different stations look like. Some theorizing as to what they could be doing with this. Is there a traveler in every system now on the space station? Uh, I've seen... I saw one in the last one. I'll check this one. That would be interesting. can't wait for you nerds to figure this out. Says shock, I know, right? We're doing the testing, but this is what it takes to figure it out, right? And we're doing it a little bit live. I'm, it might not be the most, now that I'm thinking about it, it might not be the most engaging thing in the world to watch, but um, you know what? If we discover it here, you're here to discover it. Like, it's the first time it's been seen in No Man's Sky. So, a historical moment. Uh, they've put some thought into this layout. I like that a lot. They have definitely put some thought into the layout. Fuselage from the first system. No, wait. Yeah, first system. Reactor core. Wings from the first system. Right? Was I doing second system or first system? What was I doing? I was doing second system, right? Let me check. Last one I changed was the wings. And those were the droid wings. Okay, no, I'm doing the fuselage from the first system. Sorry, I'm doing this backwards. Test it right, Delta. Test it right. Shouldn't have had that shot. Fuselage from the first system. That's this guy. Or from the... Yeah, I want this. I want that. I want the wings that match this one. <sighs> Which are... Oh, God, I'm confusing myself. Let's come back in here. The one with the nines. Okay, nine. The wings that match that, which are uh, these wings. And then I want this thruster. There we go. There we go. We got there. Oh, bang, bang, and bang. Interesting configuration. I wish we could, like, rotate up. That'd be cool so I could see the top-down view. Completely different supercharged slot layout. So it doesn't work like staffs. Uh, let's do one thing. So we're using. Uh, let me take this picture real quick. Good. Uh, let's assemble it. 
Let's proceed. Add to collection. Let me take a picture of the supercharge slot layout. We'll try one thing to see if it works or doesn't work. Uh, take that picture. Let me see if I have a long nose or a triple thruster in any of my other ships that I'm randomly carrying around from somewhere. It's hard to say. Oh, I gotta fly out with this ship first, don't I? Let's fly out with the ship. And come back in. <sighs> yeah, Max, he's still not feeling good. Hope you feel better, buddy. Maybe colors vary by station race economy. Yeah, so um, for those of you that was in Jason's stream, I saw he was kind of looking, delving into that. Um, I think he saw by economy or type of economy made a difference. So like whether it was like mining or um, uh, trading. Why? Why? Why is that? Why not the Eagle of Freedom? Oh, that was that was the first one we made. That's right. Um, okay, so uh, I think yeah. Okay, uh, let's um, get a triple thruster from somewhere else if we can. I could scrap the radiant pillar, but I don't want to do that. Uh, this is one that we made, so we don't want to do that. Yeah, you. This one I found during a hunting challenge. So let's get the triple thruster out of that. And I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to move all these triple thrusters. Oh, that reload really janked things up, didn't it? I'm going to move all these three triple thrusters to my freighter. I can't. Let's move it to my starship. I can't. Uh, screw it. Let's delete them. Let's delete them. We'll delete them. Goodbye, triple thrusters. Let's scrap the triple thruster off this and see what happens. Uh, begin salvage analysis. Take out the engine. Good evening, Gothic Viper. Welcome in. Salvage engines. Xbox does need the update for sure, yeah. Can't, can't, cannot agree more. And so what was the configuration we did? Man, there's so, like, this is one of those things I should be, like, writing down. It was the long nose. Or the hot rod. <laughs> Same reactor core, that's fine the these wings and then now i only have this and this is from just a completely random system that from i don't even know when it's not i don't even think it's the same galaxy assemble this aha we have learned something ship purchase currently available why can't I purchase it? Insert additional components to finalize design. Like what? Don't know why that worked, but the supercharged slot layout was the exact same as we had before. Oh, this is bugged. Let's assemble it. There we go. Add to collection. There we go. Supercharged slot layout. You can rewind and stream if you don't trust me, but this is the exact same layout as we had with a completely different thruster. So it doesn't matter where you get the part. A certain configuration of parts in a location are what dictate the, uh, the supercharged slots. So I could get, uh, the, it seems, the hot rod, these heavy wings with the fins on them, or with the V-wings on them, whatever they call them. Or the S-wings, I think that's what they're calling them. And the, uh, the tri-booster, or triple booster, in any system. And here, they would make the same 
supercharge slot layout. We tried cockpit, Scott. We tried changing that variable. Didn't work. I don't think it worked. It didn't work. Yeah, we tried keeping the cockpit constant, but that didn't work. Woo, so close. <laughs> You say Maxi three times, and Maxi or Periwinkle, what do you get? <laughs> Apart from an antifungal shot. Ugh. Gross. Okay, let's go. To, let's just do a little bit of exploration, just see what we got going on. Ooh, is that a... So let's show you an example of why... Uh, a temperate plant, nice why the multi-tool cabinet thing is super important. So this station has an A and a C class cabinet. God, that's a game that is a game changer for multi-tool hunting completely. Don's in, welcome in, says location, location, location. Oh, heading out, Max. Oh, I'm sorry you're not feeling well, buddy. Have a good night, my friend. I need to make the Delta Flyer. Yeah, I can I can now, right? I mean we can make whatever we want now. Have a great night, Max. I hope you feel better soon, buddy. We'll go here. We'll land. Well, we'll check out the planet a little bit, maybe. Why not? And reload. And then come back to the space station. Um, is there anything else in the patch notes you guys saw that you wanted me to check out? Well, we're here. I mean, why not? I kind of browsed them briefly. There is, like, I, I do need to, like, make, like, a normal save and go through and check out trading and seeing if there's better ways to make money. Look how beautiful this place is. Hot diggity dang. Let's find some water. Wow, look at that beautiful sky. That is a vibrant blue. Let's land over here. Yeah, this is this is kind of like an Earth. It's a temperate planet. It's not paradise. It's got high sentinel activity. So, not ideal. Cool rock formations here, too. Look at that. You can make, like, a fake portal on one of these. What does the sand look like? Oh, that's kind of gross here. I thought this would look better. Yeah, sorry, the wife is texting me. Gotta make sure she's happy. As Kiwi said, she's the one that makes this possible. Next update, planet crafting. That'd be cool if we could terraform planets. How fun would that be? We're not done with this update yet, though. Where's, like, the ocean? I want, like, a big swath of water. That looks like a lot of water. Oh, but it turns into sand as soon as I get closer. Oh, well, let's land. We'll just land. So I think, my conclusion, does this kill ship hunting? No. It changes it significantly. It adds different gameplay. How long-lasting that gameplay is going to be is that I think the jury is currently out. This is a beautiful planet. Look at this. Nice birds here. Rolling puddles. Fauna is sporadic, so not very much fauna. But I love the trees. It's vibrant. Very nice. I believe we're in Azdorajan, Galaxy 19, if anybody wants to come here. Terraforming is great fun. <laughs> Try Planet Craft for crying out loud. <laughs> I got too many games, Shock. Too many games. Side Gone Jin, what's going on, buddy? Welcome in. Oh, sorry, I missed you coming in. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> doing great. I, I, this update is interesting. I'm so far a fan. Um, I, I I enjoy ship hunting. For me, this doesn't kill it, uh, personally. Whether it kills, like, the online communities, like the base communities, things like, you know, Glyph Exchange, Interstellar Index, No Man's Sky Coordinate Exchange, I think that's going to depend personally. Like, I think I would like the flex of having the, uh, what is it? <laughs> All I can think of is, uh... What is it? The, the, the fresh thing. Uh, authorized or certified fresh. I forget what it actually is. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. So does Add Delta 1 have a planet or community planet? I do have a community planet. If you go to my Discord, uh, there is a hub planet 
uh, section with rules in it. You can go there, build a base. It's in Euclid. It's a white glass. What is it Euclid or Isotam? I can't remember. But it's a white grass, purple sky system. Really cool. Certified refurbished. <laughs> okay, that looks really nice. Nice. It's gonna actually go to bed. Hard to breathe on my lungs hurt. Dude, go to a doctor. God. Uh, hope you feel better. Good lord. Three links for the Discord. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> guys, check out the Discord. We do Discord hangs all the time. Uh, nowadays, it's been, like, ramping up. We've been playing, hanging out there, either playing No Man's Sky, Farming Simulator, of all things. Like, just having a good time. So we reloaded on that planet. <gasps> and we were rewarded by the No Man's Sky gods. Look at that! <laughs> Get out of here, man. Get out of here. How does that happen? Look how sick that thing looks. Aspect of Nakurian 6. <laughs> Hunt goes, no way. The ga true gaming god? Dude, Jason plays won the raffle. <laughs> of all people. Right? Look at that thing. Hot damn. Okay. Oh, well, uh, so we know that. Then I'm going to take a picture with the glyphs, if anybody wants to get it. Because you still have to use glyphs for these. <laughs> Scott goes rigged. <laughs> An alien! Get out of here, man. How does that happen? So it's the alien multi-tool with the teeth in the front. It's got the shark's teeth up front facing backwards. Uh, not particularly rare, but it's got the bone, the one spine up top. You don't see that all the time, which is kind of nice. Um, kind of the, the bony plates in the back with green tips. I like that it matches the crystal here. It's not a crystal. This one's a clip. Sometimes you get a crystal there. This one's just a clip. But the green matches all around. I do like that. And this kind of cobalty uh, gray color really does accentuate the uh, uh, the green. And this middle green bit is always green, so it matches really well. So I do like that quite a bit. It was a reload on that planet. Bam! And that's just in the A-class cabinet. What the? <laughs> what? What? What is happening? What is happening? What? So here's an example of an actual crystal. Unprotected arc absorber. Listen, arc absorber, you should use protection, buddy. <laughs> Insert bleep is right. Holy cannoli. <laughs> so Hunt goes, okay, so how much money did you give Sean? Seriously, what the heck? Uh, another alien, uh, this time uh, with the closed front that you see here. I forget what this one's called. It's kind of like a bladed front. Uh, bright pink crystal clip. I like the, the steel gray with the orange tips matches kind of the mustard color. You see that green circle is always there. Um, the pink, yeah, would it be cool if it was orange? Yeah, but everybody loves some hot pink, baby. Though you should use some protection, Arc Absorber. We'll take that picture. You gotta be kidding me. Like, how does this happen? I wonder if, how the supercharged slots work with these guys. I'm not gonna make you guys do two supercharged slot, uh, tests in a row. And testing supercharged slots for multi-tools is a bear. <laughs> you need to buy new mustard. <laughs> At best, that's spicy brown. All right, fine. It's not like, you know, French is standard, whatever. Now find two S-class cabinets, you lucky dog. I clearly just use all the, uh, all the luck that I have. Ghost Panther 218 says luck. I seriously. Slate blue alien with emerald green, green clip. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I like that. Slate blue. That's a good color. Good color choice. Um, and we also reloaded <laughs> on this planet, so... Did I hit it? There we go. That, you can't buy that kind of luck, guys. That was insane. Uh, I mean, okay, look. Based on that, I have to go to the third planet in the system. There's no way I can't check it. There's no way. I have to check it. 
Spicy brown mustard, official color. <laughs> Spicy brown mustard. My nickname in college. <laughs> the joke. Let's go to there. A torrid box. Oh, come on. Uh oh. Do I have anything on me? You know what I haven't tested? The station overrides. Do I have station overrides on this save? Oh god. Oh, uh. Sure, I don't care. There's nothing on this that I need. Brown mustard and periwinkle. I swear to god, you need to work. Oh, this controller is such crap right now. Uh, Henry said they're still lame and broken. What's lame and broken? <laughs> ba Did somebody say baby poo as a color? <laughs> they, oh, listen, oh, here's the thing about baby poo. There's a lot of different types. Uh, Ognam, you asked, do you have a system with an S-Class cabinet on the space station? Go to it and see what changes it has. S-Class on the space station? Uh, probably I do, but... Definitely I do. But I doubt anything changed. Um, it seems unlikely that they changed where the multi-tool spawned. Oh, on the space station! No, wait, I'm sorry. You're right. Um, that's a great question. I don't know what galaxy would be in, though. It's worth verifying. Let me check that out. Dart, hey, welcome in. Is the uh, For the Xbox update out yet? I don't think the Xbox update is out yet. You think the station override uh, Joy Roth was put in the game to drive Captain Steve nuts? <laughs> it drove Zoo nuts, too. Uh, for what it's worth. I mean, it's like... Why? Why was it in there? So you guys... Uh, they said... Uh, Enra said they're still lame and broken. The overrides, I guess? Yeah, oh, I see. Okay, the overrides. Gotcha, gotcha. Drives you nuts too chaotic. Yeah, I mean, who knows what it's there for. Maybe we get to build one day. Maybe that side section. Okay, here's the theory. You heard it here first, guys. That side section of the space station that's kind of empty, that's going to open up, and we'll be able to put a base there. Ta-da. Maybe. Who knows? Woo! It's still flying like a banshee. Like a bat out of hell. Just found a red and black interceptor. Has anybody seen one before? I haven't. Retro Game Daddy. Uh, I don't think they have black. It's like a very deep purple. If you look at it close enough, I think. Um, I found some like that, but like though that is a harder configuration to find for sure. Um, and uh, it's definitely a hard configuration to find. And um, depending on like what the parts are, pretty cool. It's personal preference, though. Okay, nothing to write home about there. And nothing to write home about there. That one planet was just insane. The override just says counterfeit detected. Okay, well, no fun in that. What is the guild thing in the update? Uh, I'm not 100% sure. I don't do a lot of those missions, but you can go to your guy here, for example. The mission agent, I guess. I need certain missions for... I guess this is Viking. Oh, but there are also the guilds, right? Um, ooh, look at that. Let's come through here. What do you got? Uh, the cartographer? No. I'm just giving maps. Where's my last guy? It's this guy. I think this is my guild, dude. And boy. Oh no, what are you, what, what are you, what is this? Redeem, what the, oh, available guild items. I wonder what that does. I'm not sure what this does. I can't buy any of them. Oh, insufficient rank. Oh, I could just get stuff if I have the right rank. Oh, that's kind of cool. And I can donate to get rank. Interesting. Okay, well, there you go. 
The guilds give discounts. Okay, there you go. Thank you. Each station is more guild oriented per race. Yeah, okay, so that makes sense. That that's what that kind of showed, I think. Uh I pointed back there like it's over my actual shoulder. <laughs> Uh, very handy in White Knight Permadeath. Ah, good way to think about it. Uh, but let me check my screenshots to see if I can find a, sp a space station that had an S-Class cabinet. Boy, this may take a second. Uh, let's see, let's see. It'll be the last time I did a hunting challenge. These are A-Class. I haven't found an S-Class cabinet in absolute ages. So that is a bit challenging. This is B-Class. Ooh. This is an S-Class cabinet. I don't know what galaxy we're in. This is an S-Class cabinet, but I don't know what the galaxy is. Uh, it's either Euclid or Eisentam. So let's pull up this picture and it'll be Euclid or Isotem. My bet is we're in Euclid. The last galaxy picture I have is Isotem though, so maybe it's Isotem. Oh no wait, this one is Euclid. Okay, let's try this in Euclid. Uh, let's go to a Euclid portal and you're right, let's check a known multi-tool uh, spot. It's, good. it's a good suggestion. And see what we got. Let's see what we got. So it's about the status in each species. What's the guilds for? Yeah, so I guess um, they give you discounts on stuff. Give it a rank. Oh, wait. It's down here. I'm so used to going up onto a mezzanine to actually get somewhere. Okay, let's go to our Euclid portal. Your base's actual Euclid portal. Warp 2 there. Oh, crud, that doesn't have the actual glyphs on it. Oh, god, do I have the glyphs? Oh, I might not have the glyphs. <gasps> that would be a disaster. I actually don't think I have the glyphs. No, I took a picture of all the friggin' multi-tools, because for the, for the challenge, I didn't need to... Uh, I didn't need the glyphs. So I don't have that. But... There are other things I can do. So this is Euclid. Are we still on Euclid here? Yeah, I believe this is Euclid. Let's go to this one where I do have glyphs. It is a... What class is this? It's a B class. But it's a cool multi-tool. So let's go check this out. I think it's Euclid. We'll see if it's there. Let me minimize this so I can see the chat. Hello again. Ravenwolf. Uh, says, huh, I just received a message from one of my frigates that it's out on a mission. The captain gave me 200 trade goods, decrypted user data, though it is probably random. That's definitely new. Yes! So, um, one thing with frigates is they can now request your help solving disputes, kind of like settlements, it seems, or with help with, like, uh, a battle or something like that. So, frigates that are out on missions will now call back uh, to do things. Which I think is a very welcome addition. So, I I one thing that... Uh, Hello Games is doing here is they are closing gameplay loops, which is pretty cool. Um, let me sure I got this right. Moon, TP, whale tree, whale tree. <laughs> it's a heavy tree. Whale tree, bird whale, bird whale, face moon. Let me sure I got this right. Bird face. Sunrise, sunset, tree, moon, TP whale tree, TP whale tree, bird, face. What did I do here? Bird, whale. Yeah, sorry. Bird, whale, face, moon. Tree, bird, whale, face, and then moon. That's right. There we go. Duck, lamb, fence post. Thank you, Shock. Appreciate that. Uh, each station has all the guilds. The quests they offer tend to favor that race. Ah, gotcha. 
<laughs> Tells Friggins to kill all, leave no witnesses. John Wick them. <laughs> negative 1,000 with the Gek? Holy cannoli, Joy Rod. That's, that's very negative, my friend. Okay. You discovered this. That is a good sign. Five months ago. Also a good sign. Okay. Likely on stream. If I'm being a toots my ghost honest. Oh, we are. I think the next stream is going to be building my perfect ship. And then. Oh, you know what is cool? We can hunt for the supercharged slots. <coughs> so we'll take the same parts and we'll go from system to system to system till we get a supercharged slot configuration that we like. That's kind of fun. I like that. I do kind of like that. Hmm. That's a fun little gameplay loop. I'm a slot hunter. <laughs> Don't quote that. That's a, that's a weird one. Oh, come on, guys. Why, why are you going to get right in my way? Ah! Sorry. I'm tempted to max out Joy Roth. You know what? At this point, you just should. Look at that. It's just the orb. It's like it's like an OG space station. Look at that. It's not a pirate. No, it's not a pirate. What type of system is it, though? High supply, so it's three star. It's commercial. Okay. Red. So somebody at some point is going to map out what the colors mean. Gek wax manufacturing. It's going to be fun discovering all the different frigate scenarios. Yeah. I hope they don't repeat too much or happen too often, especially problems. Eventually, you'll recognize the pattern. Not yet, but eventually, probably. Uh oh. This is the A class. There she is. There's the B class. Whoa! Wait, what? This is the right multi tool, but it's an A class. It appeared in a B class cabinet before, but that might be because it was the A class multi tool. But, so here's a great example this is the A class cabinet. And the other one's an A-class cabinet. But they're two different multi-tools. What? Uh, likely one of these has drawn the B-class multi-tool. And I think this one has drawn the B-class multi-tool. Which is the, uh... This, this, this bad boy here. For anybody who cares, we are in Euclid. And these are the glyphs. I haven't posted this, I don't think, so... You can come and grab it if you like it. It's red in real life, I think. I don't think it's quite pink. If you pick it up. Oh, look at that. Ooh, look at that ship. I'm sure I looked at these before. These are beautiful ships, though. Oh, you heading out, Scott? Good night, all. See you next time. Thanks for the stream. You're very welcome, Scott. Thank you for being here. Really appreciate it, buddy. We'll catch you next time, huh? A non-white experimental. That's right, Hunt. Um, let's go to a different system and see how common different cabinets are. Oh, come on. Oh, what happened? Ah! <laughs> Which way are we going? You think it's pink? I don't think it's pink. Non white experiment sounds like a category on certain websites, shall we say? I'm not allowed to say it out loud, but it's funny. Yeah, yeah. Let's pick up the multi-tool. Fine. Let's see if it's pink. I'm pretty sure it's red. I'll just pick it up and we'll check. Yeah, have a great night, Scott. What a shock there. Slot Hunter with an O? Yes. With an O. Gonna get, you're gonna get me canceled, Chuck. <laughs> oh, we can just buy it. Yeah, we'll buy it. I can't pull it out in Space Station. Next planet we go to. Alien Royalty. Old McDelta had a farm. <laughs> Yes, he did. 
Yes, old McDelta did. I've been playing some farming simulator, guys, but I'm going to be honest with you. That's going to take a little bit of a break. Uh, this update is enticing. The other thing we haven't done yet is check out the new build parts. So I do want to check those out. I have a daughter. Everything is pink. Dude, you are not wrong. I've got a little two-year-old. I can't pull it out in the space station. There are laws against that hunt. <laughs> Hey, Finch, what's going on, buddy? Howdy, Delta and Chad. Delta, did you have ship hunting ruined for you or enhanced with the ship customization? I think it's different. I think there are different things to hunt. Um, I think the hunting is not as varied as it used to be. I think finding all the parts is much easier than people are thinking right now. We'll see how long that lasts. But there are different colors out there in the real world. You get your, your certified fresh TM tag for ships that are natural. Um, and three, you still have to hunt for a good supercharged slot layout. So all of those things still exist. So there are still things to hunt for. Is it the same type of hunting? Not quite, but it is really going to change uh, ship hunting for sure. Like a lot. Um, I really do think it will. You can still hunt. Uh, like, like So the motivation for more, most ship hunters, it's for me personally, is not finding my own ship, though I have been looking for my ship for ages. This configuration with the right colors. I've been looking for ages. A little 3D print, hot rod, whatever they call the frame wings and the C wing now, I guess, whatever it is. Um, before I painted this little 3D model, which I won from the Interstellar Index. Check them out, guys. Um, I really wanted to find that. I think I'm going to build it now, right? It's not going to have the exact same colors as I would have wanted, but it won't be that far off. Uh, thank you for posting Finch's link there. Appreciate that. Let's... Let's do this. Uh, Christy, I need to borrow your wrench. You know, Leslie, you're here a lot. You can just... Do... Do... Congratulations. Welcome, welcome to the... Uh, to the, the moderator union. Uh, let's come through here. Let's try to find a Viking system. I like I like three stars. I'm broken like that. And I think the other thing is in the process of searching for parts, you're gonna find ships you didn't you didn't you didn't uh, realize that you'd like. And so that's kinda cool too. You still have to look at ships. You still have to ship hunt to find parts, but we have determined that once you find the parts, um, wherever you find those parts doesn't matter. Uh, it's going to make the same ship with the same supercharged slots in a given system. You heard it first here. At least that bit. You heard first here. Discovered today. Let's go check out the space station and the multi-tool. The build parts are nice. All of them can be changed in size and color. The two sides have four pictures each that alternate. I saw that on Enra's stream this morning, but I'm willing to bet a bunch of you didn't see that. And you may not be familiar with Enra Silver. He's an awesome content creator. Um, check him out. Seriously. You will not be disappointed. A lot of fun. His streams are uh, not PG. <laughs> and they are a wild ride. Ooh, look at the space station. I like that some of these stations still kind of pay homage to the older style. I like that, actually. Keeps a little bit of history. Keeps us grounded, you know? Uh, industrial? Lawless. Okay. Is it red? No, it's like a purple, pink periwinkle, dare I say? Wonder if the slots are tied to the core. Um, what do you mean by the core, Jairoth? Get out of here. Stop. 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 What is happening? <laughs> what is happening? How is this happening? This is impossible. Hold on, I need to um, I need to leave the system and get the galaxy picture. 
the ship core you buy for the system. Ah! Ow. Mm. That's a thought. Uh, ooh, that was a nice needle. Um, Joyroth? I'd say no, because I do the same for <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. you can do it! <laughs> the reason I was saying, well, let's think about it. Uh, let me take this picture of the Euclid Galaxy so I know where we are before I take those pictures. I can't, I can't, I can't believe this luck. This is insane. I have never had this type of luck ship hunting or multi-tool hunting. Is that rare? So the uh, Leonardo, uh, oh, sorry, Leandro uh, BRC47. Um, it is not common. Uh, I wouldn't call it rare rare, but it is very uncommon. The lipstick coming out the front of that tool is particularly what's uncommon. So this is the alien mid-rifle that we're about to see. Ooh, nice baller hauler. An alien mid-rifle that we're about to look at and... Oh, I trash! Love what? Trash. Anything dirty or, <laughs> or dusty. It's an alien mid-rifle? Uh, green with... Uh, this lipstick here is is reasonably rare. Uh, I wouldn't call it super rare, but it is very uncommon. Uh, standard magazine, yellow tips on the clips, all the colors match really nicely. The orange complements the green well. Looking cool. Looking great. Kind of sandy tips uh, on the uh, on the on the crystals in the back. Love it. And this is just the system multi-tool. So let's get the glyphs. As well, we are in Euclid, guys. This is crazy luck. I haven't looked at the other one yet. That's right. Uh, Zoo used, used to call it streamer luck. Maybe they uh, maybe they blessed us with an upgraded variety of discoveries. So Joyroth, it was Joyroth, right? You mentioned the. Uh, they have, they have to have up the chances for these tools. Uh, you know, you, dude, you gotta be right. Okay, so this is also the A-class multi-tool. There you go. But still two A-class cabinets. That's interesting. I mean, we're going to have to finish out the hunt of the system. How do we not? Let's go check out... Uh, there's only two planets. Why not? So you said, does it have to do with the... I think Joy Roth, it was you that said, does it have to do with the station core? Let's think. We've used the only the one station core. And we've made multiple ships in the space station with that station core, so I don't think, and maybe maybe my logic is wrong here somewhere, but I don't think, I think that means the supercharged slots can't be tied to the core. We have the same core with different, um, with different um, ships as well. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think, I think that's right. Yeah, Viper, no worries. I, I checked it. Gives you Green Goblin vibes. Ooh, I like that, Finch. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. I could see that for sure. Uh, I just joined the stream. Did you make your own ship already? I'm flying in a ship that I made. We made a bunch of ships. Um, oh, it's lovely. She's beautiful. It's a nice ship. This is a very... <laughs> this, is a, this is a gaudy purple. Um, there is a more subtle periwinkle color that is out in the wild that you cannot color your ship in customization. And I think that is my favorite purple. So the hunt is not done for me, shall we say. For my perfect ship. And I think if you're a ship hunter out there, I don't. I, I would encourage you, a legacy ship hunter, somebody who's, who's made their whole stuff around ship hunting and what they enjoy about the game, I don't think it's done for you either. I know for me, a lot of my motivation for ship hunting is finding a ship for somebody else that they want. And there are more subtle colors that are out there that we can't color with, so maybe people like that too. I would continue to ship hunt if I was you. But I'm not you. Whatever whatever, whatever floats your boat and makes you happy. That's the important thing. But Leander, yeah, that's what we're doing. Uh, good to have you here. Um, welcome to the stream. Maybe tied to the station. Yeah, well, so we tested two different... Um, we, I made two different ships in the same station. And the supercharged slots were still... This, were different. I'm not trying to poo-poo you, Jairoth. I, I'm just thinking through it myself as well. We did a lot. I'm going to have to go back and watch the stream. Also to make sure I didn't make any mistakes. 
which is very likely. I was doing it fast, and we're doing it live, so that's when you make mistakes. Can you remake the expedition ship? Well, you can't remake the Starborn Runner. Um, we don't have the parts for that. Uh, Joy Ross is tied to the station. We've definitely tried two different types of ships in the same station. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. We've tried the same parts from one system in two different stations. We've tried changing just one piece of the original system in the second system. Yeah, so we've tried a bunch of things. I think it's all three parts in conjunction with the location. I think it's actually like super random. I think the way they're building the seed for the supercharge slots is actually like effectively procedural. Which is cool. I like that. I actually like that a lot. I think that's great. <laughs> yes, she has been added to the to the to the union. Oh, we haven't been checking if there's a traveler in every station. Well, I saw two stations that had a traveler. All right. When we re so for those who are unaware, I, I do this explanation a lot. Um, but we have a lot of different people here and a lot of new subscribers and squad members. 07 guys. Um, let's pretend this Viking symbol is the space station. This space station and the system in general has a pool of multi tools it can draw from A, B, C, and the A can bump up to an S class. Each of these planets also has a pool of multi-tools. So when I come to the space station and I see an A-class cabinet, that cabinet is always an A-class cabinet. And it's going to draw the A-class multi-tool from the pool of multi-tools of the system. So the system's A-class multi-tool gets pulled into that cabinet. If it was a B-class cabinet, the system's B-class multi-tool will be pulled into that cabinet. Now when I reload on this planet, it has a whole new pool of multi-tools. And now when I go back to the space station that has an A-class cabinet, it's going to draw the A-class multi-tool from this planet in the space station cabinet. You can also do this with minor settlements. I'm also going to reload on this planet and come back, and it's going to draw a different A-class multi-tool. And that's why this multi-tool is different in the same cabinet. But you'll notice... Oh, it's showing my multi-tool here. Oh, how cool. I didn't realize that. Is this two different multi-tools? It's showing two different multi-tools here. Cool. So one of these, is, so yeah, a caveat is an A-class cabinet can sometimes pull in the B-class multi-tool. That's a detail. If you're new to multi-tool hunting, just don't worry about that one right now. Hello there. Ooh, it's an Omega nose now. Yes, this color, I don't think that color is available in the color palette. I don't think, anyway. <clears throat> the staff works with the head and location. Yeah, so what we did was we kept the cockpit the same and we changed and we changed at a, at a given station and we changed the wing and uh, engine parts and then we kept the wing the same and we changed the cockpit and engine parts then we kept the engine the same and we changed the, the cockpit and wing parts and none of them at, a, at, a, at the same location and none of them had a consistent supercharged slot layout. So, it would suggest that there is not a s specific part and location like the staffs that do it, which is which is interesting because that's how that's you would think that they would implement the same procedure, but they didn't. So I don't know why. Man, but I'm proud of the testing today. We actually we actually did a decent job. Feel 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 in feel in the the fastballs from Joy Roth. <laughs> I like your thinking, dude. It's the way to think about it. And, it, there's, and there's a good chance I'm misunderstanding something you're saying as well, or I haven't tested something you're suggesting. And keep the ideas coming, because maybe there is that, maybe there is a rhyme or reason to it that we just... We've tested it for like an hour and a half. Who knows? You know? There's probably some pattern that I just didn't get. Or I screwed up in the testing. And you need to do repetitions for testing. The thing is, you can't prove something by example. Uh, we, so you need to, in No Man's Sky, since there's not like theorems or proofs, you have to, uh, unless you're in the game files, you have to uh, 
just do a ton, a ton of hunting and testing to be like, alright, this is probably what it is. Interesting planet. I like the ring. Probably, yep, heated atmosphere. Hot planet. Let's do a reload here to draw the multi-tools, the A-class multi-tool, and maybe a B from this planet into the space station. Uh, gonna do some hunting when you get home? I bet you're stoked. Jarada, <laughs> I certainly am loving this, man. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. Um, come in here. I need to get some water. Mouth is dry. Talking too dang much. Let's come up to here. See what we got. All right. Uh, Leandro, I've been trying to find some multi-tools myself, and I got the staff from the Omega Expedition, and it's kind of boring because it doesn't really fit in the character for you. Yeah, I mean, it's a very personal thing, right? What multi-tool you get, what staff you get, what outfit you have, what ship you have. So, fair enough, I... Multi-tool hunting is one of my favorite things to do in the game. So, I feel you. I need to do some more Atlantic uh, multi-tool hunting. Haven't played the update yet, Gothic Viper? Give it a shot, man. It's a lot of fun. I mean, so far I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Alright, so we have another multi-tool in here. A nice cobalt blue. At least from the outside. Overlo Overload of Peace. I thought I said Overlord of Peace and I was like, man, that's a Mad Max name right there. Yep, same one. Overload of Peace. Oh, but the supercharge slots. Those are the same. And so it's not as addicted by cabinet here. Oh, it is! Interesting. I think they have been screwing around. Son of a biscuit. I think they're screwing around with the supercharged slots for multi-tools. Oh, no. I think those are different. They're definitely different. Oh. Wait, three over, then five and one down. Three over, five and one down. Three over, five and one down. Don't want that. Three over. Oh, and then five and one down. They're messing with. <laughs> it's impossible to figure out what the rules for supercharged slots. Oh, look at this ship. Look at that purple. Oh, that's a beauty. That's a nice find. This is Euclid. We'll just take a picture. Oh, man. This update's a doozy. This one's a real doozy. I'm a huge fan. I, I, you know, I was a little bit nervous when I saw this chip customization, to be frank with you. But uh, the fact that the supercharge slots are so random, I'm actually kind of really liking that. Uh, let's try one more system. So what we found, we have found only one system so far that has cabinets with different uh, with different classes certified fresh wait what I forget that's right what is it actually I have like I've made the joke too many damn times I can't remember okay let me in you should just let me in whenever I do something stupid there you go What is it, actually? Uh, <laughs> so I've clearly made this one, because that thing isn't there. Um, so you found a station with two A-class cabinets, so you have a chance of finding a dual S-class cabinets. That, I think that logic tracks. Wait, when I look at this, yes, it says authenticated starship. Whereas when I look at this, it does not. Ooh, you know what we should test? Anomaly. Certified rebuild, yeah, that was a good one. That was a uh, courtesy of Chaotic Serenity. Oh, let's come in through here. <laughs> Certified rebuild. It works in the what works in the anomaly. Uh, Leslie. What did I come in here for? Oh, I wanted to look at other people's ships. That's right. Okay.
doesn't say anything specific about that one. Nothing there. That's you. So, here's the thing. This tag. Oh, wait. Class salvaged. What does that mean? Hold on. Uh, let's see this one. Class salvaged. Oh, that's a radiant pillar. I need somebody else with a... Ah, uh, you. Class fighter. Uh, so the question is, did this individual build this ship? Or did they find it? Because this whole thing where it's like... Where it's authenticated, if I'm the only one who can see that, why does it matter if I have the sticker? The whole point is to, like, flex, right? Who knew Hot Pockets teamed up with the Hot Ones? But here we are, and my kid found them. Oh, no! Oh, shock. Disaster. It works the anomaly, seeing this salvage a sentinel. Yeah, Zadie, wait. Thank you for the, the uh, welcome in. Yeah, I, my idiot self uh, put that together. <laughs> but thank you. I was, uh, that was, that was, I was, I was doing stupid for sure. I definitely need, I definitely need help from you guys. Oh, man. I needed another ship to come in. I don't think salvage is custom, because the salvage was on the interceptors, as Zadie is saying. Um, I believe is, is 100% correct. Text out the wife, say that's good. That was a question. Salvaged is custom? Oh, that was a question. I gotcha, gotcha. I want another ship to come in, but it's not coming in, so we're just gonna boogie out here and go to uh, the next system. Salvaged equals crash ship. Uh, well, that would make sense. That's the only way you could find interceptors. That's a good, well, a crashed... That's a, that's a good question. If I were to find a crashed fighter, what would it what would it say? Ah. I've never done that. Or I've never looked at somebody else's crashed fighter. Or know that I've looked at somebody else's crashed fighter. Leander says, I've literally had an S-Class exotic ship spawn on a planet where I have a settlement. But when I got to the anomaly, I saw that some people had the same kind of ship, but with the beaks and tails. Ah. You got jealous? Well, there are lots of exotics out there. You can check out my Discord. You can check out the Index, the No Man's Sky coordinate change. Lots of places. So that's authenticated, certified fresh. Authenticated. This one is not. I like that, but I'm the only one who can see it. What does that mean? Uh, looks at mirror certified salvaged. <laughs> nice. Nice. Uh, da, 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 da. Are you, are you? And for those of you who are new, I stream on Mondays and Wednesdays, um, usually around 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. However, for next week, uh, one, I'm traveling tomorrow through Sunday, so there's not going to be a surprise third stream. There's usually a third stream. But to make up for that, I will be streaming much more next week. Why, Delta? Why are you streaming such so much more next week? Well, my wife is going to be on a business trip all week. It's actually the longest we've been apart probably since college. It's kind of crazy. And the longest she's been away from our daughter, so that's going to be fun. <laughs> I feel for her. It's challenging. Um, we have a two-year-old, first kid, so, you know, one of those things. Um, but uh, it means I have to put my daughter down for bed each night. That means I can only start the stream by about 8 p.m. Her bedtime ends up being a little later as she's getting a bit older. Um, but I can stream much more, so I'll be streaming Monday, Wednesday, maybe Tuesday, Thursday, I don't know. I'll be streaming a lot next week. Um, so, to make up for the fact that this will be my last stream for a few days. Emperor of the Senate Palpatine! I am the Senate. What a name. What a name. You win tonight. I found an exotic today, a royal white one. Nice, good find. Ooh, I love man, the look here. It's kind of a subway station. <laughs> or a metro station by us. Okay, Alex Venerdy, welcome to the group. Yeah, my, my group is open. <laughs> People could join. 
I'll be reloading a bunch. So this is uh, a B class Trace of the Wind. And over here we have an A class cabinet. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. So this system has two different types of cabinets. We are again in an opulent, so three star. It's commercial economy in this case. Conflict is testy. Uh, let's check a few planets, reload, and see what we got. White exotics are good times. Yeah, absolutely. Couldn't agree more. I found a white uh, ball exotic with a couple of... Um... Oh, that's kind of redundant. Oh. It had no nose. It had side boosters, a clamshell tail, uh, and the guns were yellow. I didn't know the gun color varied. Emperor in the Senate. Palpatine just subscribed. Oh, seven. I mean, you probably own the channel now. You're the friggin' Emperor. <laughs> Good on you, buddy. Thanks for being here. Uh, Shanky says, I found you today uh, by the Jason raid at Delta One. Can't wait for the next stream. Thank you so much. Uh, Shanky, I'm saying Shanky, right? Yeah, Shanky. Uh, <laughs> there were so many great names today, guys. Uh, this is a horrific planet. Well, I, I would love to have you next time as well. So I appreciate it. All you guys who joined in the Delta Squad tonight, thank you very, very much. It's good to have you here. We'll reload to draw in the... Oh. Because <laughs> I was in-game with uh, Chaotic. Oh god, where's it going to put me? She threw a wrench into the works. Get it? She's got a wrench now. Ha. The tragedy... <laughs> Wait, what did Serenity say? Oh, uh, that's good. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Oh, well, Shock said, just tell Delta Weft that Easter is cancelled this year. I'm sure she'll understand. Maybe I can, like... Can I, like, give myself COVID? I've just noticed, uh, Retro Game Daddy, uh, that different colors change the stats on the ship. Uh, is it different colors, or each time you make... I haven't looked at stats yet. Maybe it is colors. You'll notice when you're building it, the stats are, like, moving left to right. So, that's a fair point. Maybe. Hey, you discovered my science experiment, if multiplayer works. <laughs> Uh, hold on, let me catch up a chat real quick. There's a lot of messages here. Um, but I guess I also think that would be kind of cheating. What would be cheating, Leandro? Let me come up here and catch up. Let's do the reload while I'm, while I'm catching up. Do -do -do -do. That's too bad, but I guess it makes it more valuable and cool to find. At Deviant Spirit. Oh man, it's gone higher up. You wish you could build exotic ships? I don't think you can. Not yet. Maybe they will let you. Um, but not yet. I wouldn't call that cheating by any stretch. <laughs> the Have you heard the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise? Uh, I actually read the Darth Plagueis book. If you are a fan of Star Wars, and this is actually still canon, um, the, uh, the Darth Plagueis book is really good. I really, really liked it. So I strongly recommend it. Really gets into the lore behind Darth Plagueis and the rise of the Emperor, effectively. Really cool. If you're a Star Wars nerd like I am. And if you're here, there's a good chance you're a Star Wars nerd like I am. <laughs> Anyone else new and needing points? Yes, we can add points to people. Pew pews. That you can use for redeems and stuff. Hunt, alrighty gang, I've got an early morning, so I'm headed out. Thanks especially to all the new folks who subbed today. Welcome to the squad. I wholeheartedly back that. And Hunt, thank you for being here, buddy. For those who don't know, Hunt is... Uh, my identical twin brother. In real life. This is a fact. That's why I give him the most crap. <laughs> Let's see if my lucky stretch can continue. Alright, nothing of significance here. And nothing of significance here. These are, but this is two different classes, right? An A and a C. A B. It was a B. Cool. Little hammerhead configuration there. Ooh, we got a Mecha 7 or full swept or whatever they call it. Interesting color. Green and red. Maybe a little Christmassy here. I do wish 
we could hunt for the color. That would be kind of cool. Uh, because then I'd be able to build my ship that I really want. It would take longer to be able to build a ship that I really want. Oh, that's cool too. Oh, look at this bad boy. <gasps> Stubby. So you know what? I'm still getting joy out of doing this, which is a good indication that it's not going anywhere. Just genuinely. Stubby, uh, Starscream Wings, Shockwave Extensions. I kind of love the new names. And then we have a Sandy. Oh, Shock and Awe's favorite is a Halo. And then OE's favorite, which is the Snow Speeder. Or I guess just Speeder. They both hate those. <laughs> What's the Star Wars you talk of, Shock? It's the one with Spock in it, I think. <laughs> I am a fan, of course, though I'd like some, uh... Uh, I'd like some movies didn't happen, like the last ten years of it. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> I can I can respect that for sure. There are some things that didn't need to happen. Emperor Picard says, "Engage the force number two. Number uh, engage the force number two. <laughs> I've alerted the horde. Yeah, I know, right? Ghost Panther, what's going on? Leandro, I'm actually ashamed that I haven't watched the whole Star Wars movies yet. Oh, it's quite fun. I do enjoy the Star Wars movies. Uh, I mean, if you want to. I've only watched A New Hope and Force Awakens. Oh my goodness. You gotta watch Empire Strikes Back. Listen. Alright. Oh, do I do it? I'm doing it. Screw it. Let's have some fun. This is, bad. This is, a, bad, this is a bad idea what I'm about to do. <laughs> Let's do a poll. What's your favorite... Star Wars movie. Oh god, okay. Let's do it in, okay. Phantom Menace. One is Phantom Menace. We'll do, we'll do prequels and, um, and, uh, the middle, the middle ones, the, the four, five, six, the originals. Two, Phantom Menace, um, uh, Attack of the Clones. At option three, revenge. Yeah, baby, yeah. Oh, hey, oh, Finch, dude. Oh, seven, I gifted five Delta One memberships. Thank you so much. Oh, seven, new members. And oh, seven, Finch. We've got Guthrie, Magnum Games, Culinary Zest, Butters Gaming, Slashing Lake 88. Welcome in, guys. Oh, seven, Finch, dude. Thank you so much. That's really kind of you, man. You didn't have to do that. Really appreciate that, guys. Oh, seven's in the chat for Finchy. Thank you, dude. And guys, check out of all Finch. He's got a channel. Uh, is just shy of a hundred subs. I want to say. You tell me, so we can we can push him over that uh, over that boundary, right? Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> I need to change that sound bite to something else. Yeah, ninety-one. Nine more subscribers gets to a hundred, guys. Pop over, make it happen, baby. Uh, four. A new hope. Oh, I can only do four? Oh, man. Oh. Oh, that, never mind. We're not doing the poll. Tell me what your favorite Star Wars movie is in the chat. Do it that way. <clears throat> 91 subs. Yeah, nine, guys. We can, get, we can get nine people over there real quick. Subs uh, subscribe to Finch, right? That's not that hard. It's free. Does uh, a good amount of No Man's Sky, some blender, amazing blender builder, by the way, guys. Seriously good blender builder. Toss Vision says Finch is a build monster. Absolutely. He was touring, was it him that was touring your business? No, he was touring uh, Jim Manbeard. Maybe he was touring yours as well? I can't remember who now. Uh, I know Enra did as well. Tosk. Empire Strikes Back. You know, Emperor of the Senate Palpatine? I knew we were kindred spirits, man. Empire Strikes Back. That's the best one. <laughs> no questions. What is, the, what is the question? I rest my case. <laughs> Look at this nice mountainous planet. Woo! Butterflies! Yeah, I did not mean to say it like that. Butterflies! Yeah, I'm like talking to my daughter. <laughs> uh, reload, restore point. For Star Wars, I'm assuming you mean uh, release, which would be a new hope. Who's Finch? I don't know, some guy. <laughs> Revenge of the Sith not a bad answer Finch I do like Revenge of the Sith quite a bit I think it might actually be my second favorite now it took many years to come around to that many many years 
Star Wars themed tabletop games are very fun. Absolutely, there is like a Dungeons and Dragons like a fourth edition version of it. There's sort of a fifth edition type style one, but it's not as fleshed out. The fourth edition one's pretty good though, or maybe it's based on Pathfinder. I can't remember. Clone Wars. You talking about the series or the uh, the Attack of the Clones, which is the second one, second movie, or movie two in the Star Wars chronology order. No, the Clone Wars show is quite good. Caravan of Courage. I am unfamiliar with that one. Tops Vision. That's a that's a rare that's a rare one for me. Revenge of the Sith is a good one. Second best in my book. Oh man, we're right we're right in sync there, man. <laughs> Vader comes in and force chokes the room. <laughs> Harder Sith. <dead. laughs> oh my god. Original brought this whole concept. John can't argue with the logic there. A New Hope was revolutionary. And I, you know, one thing, I was talking with my uh, my father-in-law about it. I'm going to see this weekend. I'm actually really awesome in laws. I'm excited to see them. I was talking with him about this probably a few months ago. Maybe a year ago at this point. We were discussing, like, that feeling of going into a movie theater and seeing something and walking out and just being like, how the heck did they do that? Like, how was this physically possible to do this? I don't think my generation is really ever going to see that. Because I know, if you saw, like, A New Hope, uh, the original... Ooh, look at this. Sorry. Oh, look at this beautiful ship. Am I still a multiplayer? Is somebody in the system? What is happening? Oh, is somebody here? Is the Serenity here? Hey! Look at this ship. That's a beauty. Did you make... Wait, is this your ship? Oh, it's Karak Serenity's ship! <laughs> is it certified fresh? Wait, Serenity, could you uh, could you call in a ship of yours that is um, that is uh, not uh, a, a, a made-up ship? Just one that you found? Oh, let's get a picture. Picture with the squad. I was going to say that's a nice ship. Um, so that feeling of like coming, in, coming out of a theater and just being like, what did I just see? And now with CGI and all that stuff, oh, I don't know, we're just not going to get that. So that's pretty cool. So I feel you there. Gaming with Christy, what's going on? Welcome in. Good to have you here. Exciting stuff indeed. It's big times. Did you call on a new ship? That's mine. If your ship is here, I'm not seeing it, unfortunately. You know what I'll do? Stay there. I bet it's I bet it's there and I just can't see it. I'm gonna reload. And I should appear right back here. And hopefully your ship will be here this time. <clears throat> oh, your starship is authentic. That is an authentic starship. Oh, I'm sorry. So I didn't see that. Oh, you left us. God dang it. Friggin' No Man's Sky. Oh, well. Um, good to see you, Gaming with Christy. Guys, check out Gaming with Christy as well. Awesome content creator. Does some really cool Valheim stuff. And a, and a plethora of things, I should say. Oh, I reload. I didn't look at the multi-tool. Oh, Delta, you dumb dumb. I didn't look at the multi-tool like an idiot. Oh, this one is built. Okay, well then I don't know. You guys like episode 1, 2, and 3? Haven't watched them yet as well, but as far as I hear about them, people seem not to like them as much as the originals. You know, uh, I think originally when they came out, there was a big, like, oh, we don't like this. I think that opinion has changed in the last, certainly in the last 10 years, maybe 5 years. Big shift. Especially with the release of the Clone Wars animated series, where we finally realized that, oh, uh, that's not a series for kids. And the Rebels animated series is also quite good. Um, did we get... Christy's link there. I think I've created a link for her. Oh, is it that? I don't think so. It might just be Christy. Rogue One was quite good. For sure. There it is. Or, I guess, Kiana got it. Oh, and I got it too. Yeah, she did a lot of fun stuff. Definitely check her out. Ugh.
Rogue Squadron? Is there a new Rogue Squadron? Oh, is there a Rogue Squadron movie coming out? Or a show? Oh, there is, right? Ah, oh, man, I, you know what I loved? Rogue Squadron on uh, on the Nintendo systems was so much fun. Played it on N64, played it on GameCube. Great game. <laughs> no worries. Christy, you know, you know, I'm an idiot because, like, I it, it, this is definitely my fault because I most commands are exactly what you did. G, which is why I tried that first GK, GK, GWK. That's what I typically do, like APG, for example, right? Um, <laughs> but this one I did differently. Master King, welcome in. It is not live on. Oh, Xbox for PC. That's a good question. I have Xbox for PC. I haven't tried. We can check that out tonight before I, before I sign off, for sure. Let's go to the space station. Uh, Ivar Suhanov, uh, oh. Suhanovs, welcome in. Hello, before the patch, I saw an overseer in the space station in a separate room. Now I'm running around in a new space station and nothing. Can't find any more. Yeah, well, <laughs> they've changed some things. That's That may have been lost. You're just special as all. Exactly, Christy. In the most positive way. It's not out for Game Pass. Okay. PC and S Xbox get it at the same time. Okay. Thanks, Finch. Good to know. We need to standardize the commands. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's not wrong. That's not wrong. Yeah, Master Kane. Uh, you know, I, I'm, you know, my Xbox Series X is sitting behind Oscar over here. It's over there. I had to ask you guys. Whenever I walk away to get water or something, he keeps the stream entertained. Uh oh, there's there's chaotic serenity. You're back. Okay, wait. So, is there, do you have a ship here that's certified fresh? <laughs> So there's this ship here. I bet this is a regular ship. Oh wait, this is D. Oh no, wait. It's got the nine and the not a recycling symbol. Did you make this ship? I'll wait for your answer. I'll take a look at the multi tools while I wait for the answer. Well, it's kind of a fun looking tool. If it's not, it's not like not my cup of tea, but that's white pillar of the horizon. And then this one here is also nothing really to write home about. Oh, but look at the... Wait, so look at that color, and then when I zoom in on it... That's color glitch. Something's wrong here. Teal and pink is created. Gray is authentic. And there is no difference for me. No difference for me. When I look at it. So that's kind of... Annoying. I wish they would put that here, so when somebody looks at the ship, they could be like, "Oh, wow, that's an authentic find." I can't just, I, I, I can't just build that. That would be cool. Oh, she disappeared. Where'd she go? I can take a picture. Come over here. I'll make it my new, my next thumbnail. Come on, I believe in you, Leslie. Just trying to stand on my ship. She's like merged into my landing gear. <laughs> so how do the ship hunters like this update? Here, come to come to this side of me, to the other side of me. I'm trying to think of how I orient the thumbnail. <laughs> okay, stay there, stay there. I'll move. You stay right there. Oh, is the bubble back? Oh, guys, the bubble might be back. Oh, stay right there, stay right there. That's perfect, that's perfect. That felt a little bit like the bubble. Let's see if we can get a few of these. What is that guy doing in the background, the big bowl thing? Hopefully I got the thumbs up. Alright, perfect. Thank you. Let's do a reload. Is there a tube teleporter by the multi-tools? I don't think it's a tube teleporter. 
Don's out. I think it's just a, a build piece. We do have to check out the build pieces. Let me let me do a little bit of the multi-tool hunting here, and then I'll go check out the build pieces. How many planets are in the system? Uh, we won't do all of them. I think. How do the ship hunters like this update? I think some are upset. I think some... I'm, I'm a ship hunter, and I'm not upset. Um, I think it's changed things quite a bit. Um, but I'm not only a ship hunter. I also love hunting multi-tools too and other things in the game, the speed running and all that stuff. Um, if you've ever watched Jason's speed runs, I'm 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 one of the people who gives him a run for his money. I beat him a few a few times now. Uh Elan Paul got me in the last one. <laughs> he earned it though. He did a great job. <clears throat> Saigon, nice! The three rockets, well done. Good good slots there. I don't think it's... So yeah, I don't think it's a tube teleporter, don't it? <laughs> IR, winner. Let's do a quick reload. Um, so we'll... We'll see how it shakes out, whether ship hunting peters out as a result of the update. There's really no way to know for sure outside of time. There's no way 100% to know. That's just that. What time is it? Oh my god, speaking of time, it's 11 already. I have got to drive to New Jersey tomorrow. Oh lordy. With the kiddo, that'll be at least five hours, I think. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. That's right, Krusty. Leandro, you said, I don't think this update hurts ship hunters at all. You'd still need to hunt ships for its party parts anyway. Um... There, I am I disagree a little bit. I think it does hurt ship hunters some, depending on what satisfaction you get from ship hunting. Uh, the parts, all the parts, like if you look at all the parts that you can find for fighters, it really doesn't take that long. Um, a few weeks of casual gameplay, and you'll find all the parts. And then you can make anything you want, right? As opposed to ship hunting, where I could do it for years and years and years and years, and never find the same ship twice. Right, so there's a little bit of a difference there. Um, that being said, there are parts of it that are still enticing. Finding the supercharged slots, the colors aren't exactly the same between what you could find in the wild and what you could find in uh, the customization menu. Is one better than the other? Doesn't really matter. They're different. So that's good. So, uh, part hunting is relevant, but what we have determined is that, for example, if I find a triple thruster in one system uh, and a triple thruster in another system, if I build a ship with the same two other parts and then that either of those triple thrusters, it's the same ship. It doesn't do anything different to it. Ah, I got quasar wings from Chaotic Serenity. Thank you. Yeah, so see, these aren't. This isn't like a, a teleporter of any kind. Yeah. This is there a color glitch on it? Nope. This one looks right. And this one looks right too. Not the multi tools are nothing to write home about, but. The colors are showing up, okay? So yeah, Leandro, I'm, I'm, I'm a little split on my opinion. I don't think it kills... I, I, I like... I think the sentiment is... I, I, I certainly agree with it. doesn't... There's still relevance for hunting. There's still things to do. I'm a ship hunter and I'm enjoying it, so... I mean, it's fun. It's, an up, it's update day. <laughs> it's just fun. If you enjoy hunting for one specific things for a year, uh, for years, that's on you. That is a really fair point, Shock. <laughs> uh, maybe that's why they left out Solar, Sentinels, etc. Yeah, Toss, that's a good point. I think they'll probably slow roll it. Oh yeah, no worries, Donson. I think I ran into it a few times, just wanted to... In case I was wrong. Because <laughs> I, I have no, been known to be wrong from time to time. Uh, if you enjoy hunting for one specific thing for years, yeah, you know, that's 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 a really fair point. Um, I think they're going to slow roll out the solars, the shuttles, and all that. Um, ooh, Striders. Very rocky Striders. Looks like if Onyx Pokemon became a Strider. Oh, a beaver! Take me to Narnia! There's beavers in Nar in the line of the wish in the wardrobe. Ghost Panther says, gosh darn it, uh, I have went back to my old save and found my S-Class hauler is now C-Class. No! Gotta earn the nanites then. Get it back up there. Yeah. 
Yeah. I think it hurts some ship hunters. I think it doesn't hurt other ship hunters. I think it's so personal. You never know. I'm uh, Lena Leander says I'm curious as to what they're gonna add to this new aspect of the game. Very excited for this year's updates. I agree. I wholeheartedly agree. Very very excited for this year's updates. I think this update, to me, shows they're not doing done doing updates. I, there are all these conspiracy. I I reloaded right. I did. Okay, good. Um, there are all these conspiracy theories as to whether Omega meant the end. It doesn't. Like, they're clearly... I think they're still working on stuff. It's a big year for No Man's Sky. I think... I think they are going to be able to run two big games at the same time. Light No Fire and No Man's Sky. They've clearly shown that they've been able to adapt their code base to do a lot of stuff. I hope they fix multiplayer. It doesn't look like it's been fixed yet, so... Did they advertise recently for more devs? Toss Vision, they did. They were hiring for all positions, I believe. For a lot of positions. Finch, they gotta get people used to the idea before completely overhauling it. That's, yeah, that's that's a very good point. That is a very good point, Finch. Um, and the question is whether they can do it with interceptors and shuttles, for example. Like, these are the same weapon, they look similar. This is the A-Class, the end of certainty. Ominous. Suddenly, the door was kicked open and, oh, hey, what up, y'all? It's, it's Guthrum! It was a masterstroke. Also the end of certainty. That means uh, this is uh, probably this is either the A or the B-Class multi-tool. And this is a good example of, because this multi-tool is either an A or a B-Class naturally from that planet. And it can be drawn into either of those cabinets. So... Sean tweeted a reminder today that they have a lot going on behind the scenes for Light No Fire today. Yeah, he's dropped the update, and now he's like, Light No Fire time. I, you know, I, I'm sure he's feeling the heat of, like, when's it coming out, when's it coming out? And, like, most most um, releases... Oh, uh, there's one more planet. Let's just do it. Why not? Uh, it looks like it's hiding back there somewhere. What a trailer is released of the caliber that the Light No Fire trailer was in December. Usually, they're still a year out from release. My bet, holiday season 2024. In the meantime, we got some real fun stuff to do in No Man's Sky, guys. This is a good time. I feel, for the first time in a while, I feel really energized, and I, I have been an advocate for not having ship customization. This is one version of ship customization that I said I might be okay with. Um, but you never know until it happens, and as it turns out, I am. Which is great. That's great news for me, <laughs> personally. I'm very happy I haven't lost that vigor um, for it. And this has energized me in a way that I did not expect. So, this is really cool. I'm really happy about this. Finch is right. Glad you got the membership, Evolve, uh, Guthrum. Uh, you have been with me for a very long time. Really appreciate it. If one studio can't run two games, maybe they chose the wrong profession. Fair enough, Shock. Guy with gun, what's going on? I'm sorry, Delta, but I need to get on No Man's Sky right now. Do not be sorry. Are you kidding me? Why would you be sorry about that? That's awesome. Get on, baby. Make it happen. Guy with gun. <laughs> Another great name. Yeah, I don't think Light No Fire is close. Yeah, and they're they're like, they're clearly like the studio's doing okay. Like, they're hiring. They're not hurting for anything. I don't think they are in any rush. And I, furthermore, I don't think they should be. And I don't think we should be. Very importantly, because the last time they were rushed, we got the original release of No Man's Sky. And that was a downer, to say the least. A huge disappointment. Complete flop. Have they turned it around? Is it a true ugly duckling story? Sure as heck is. Um, I, prefer, I think we'd all prefer not to go through that again. So... Uh, let's just let's just let them uh, do it the right way. Take the time, get it right, get the multiplayer right, get the bugs out, figure it all out, get the big things good, 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 good. Close the gameplay loops, add a lot of depth, so that they can add on top of that. So it's not a mile wide and an inch deep. You know, with Light No Fire is a very challenging project. I mean, they're doing a a, something, a planet the size of Earth. That's insane. That's insane. So I say we give them the time to do it right. 
Austin Erica, what's going on? For this update as big as it is, and still no Void Mother, seems like it's building to something. I hope so. I hope so. I'd love to see more Void Mother stuff. I was hoping to see that in the last update. I felt the last update with the expedition, the Omega expedition, was kind of a... Every... First of all, complaining about updates is ridiculous to me because they're free. <laughs> like, thank you for the free content. Hello Games is my personal opinion. That being said, um, I was hoping for a bigger finish. Whoa! Wow. Uh, to the four-man... Four-four-man. The four-part arc for that storyline. The Interceptor ARG type storyline. Something with the Void Mother would have been cool, but maybe they're building to it. I don't know. At the end of the day, it's a game and I'm having fun with it. And the speed runs for that expedition were a wild ride, so... But maybe, maybe they are um, building to it. Who knows? They've got so much, like, and that's another way thing to think about when we're thinking about are they going to do more updates? There is so much lore they could still go into, just via expeditions. I mean, talk about low-hanging fruit, you know? It's probably not, well, not development isn't easy, but it's probably not a huge commitment development-wise for, like, lining up a new expedition compared to, like, this type of update, which is, I'm sure, a lot of development work. Look at that ship. As you're hunting for ships, you're still going to find cool things. Like this beauty right here. As you're hunting for parts, I should say. You're a great supporter of the stream, Finch. Thank you. Yeah, Finch. I 100% agree with Guthrum there. <laughs> what, what's happening to Shock? Oh, God. A look at these stations were pretty spoiled spoiled really I, yep <laughs> I agree <clears throat> would you like to see a uh, a bit different expedition I'd like to see if they did a farmer one maybe something like the first alien movie oh a darker one yeah uh, you got a, a type of there okay no worries autocorrect um, the emperor doesn't make mistakes you read it wrong <laughs> I am the senate it's so good man um, I would. That would be really cool. To get into, like, the like the dark side of No Man's Sky. I think they want to keep it, like, um, friendly for, uh, for kids still, probably. But there's still ways to make it kind of gritty and dark. Farmer on the brain. Yeah, that's, that's my, that's, not, that's definitely my fault. <laughs> 100%. I think they just keep updating it. Eventually it'll age out. Uh, but I think we're years away from that. So I think there's a lot left to do here. Hey, buddy. Construction terminal! We got some new parts, guys. If I can find them. Whoa! Wait, and let me see if there are any more in the... Uh, I think it's just that, which is good. Uh, construction decorative modules. Okay. It's a little bugged out on the sides here. You can see that. Standing sign. Okay. Plinth light. Ooh, I like new lights. Oh, a pillar light. Oh, that's probably really a bio crate. Look at that, guys! Oh, that's going to be really fun to use. Hydraulic arms, server block, data cabinet, holographic... Oh, these displays are so cool. These are some of my favorite decorative pieces that we got. And all these hollow arrays. Alright, so let's do a quick little bit here. Are capes visible? Somebody's asking. <laughs> Somebody's name is Flavortown! We got a Guy Fieri fan in the house, apparently. Pirate and Abandoned Systems are the same. Okay, good to know. This update got me wanting to play again, so mission accomplished! I'm sure I'm not the only one. Agreed. Yeah, that's awesome. That's really good. Let's go to... Oh, let's go to this planet. I was gonna do a thousand subs build thing here, but I decided against it a while back. The signs do scroll, Toss Vision. 
do, 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 do. one second. Guys, while we warp here, just give me a second. I gotta, I gotta get uh, just something to wet my throat. Very dry. I've been talking for a while. I will be right back. In the meantime, enjoy this beautiful planet. Why is it so loud here? I feel like it's loud here. That's okay. I'll be right back. And we're back. Hey, Jason, you're back. What's going on? By the way, Jason, you won the raffle <laughs> to pick a redeem. So congratulations. Just send me a DM of something eight-ish seconds long. Just You can just tell me a topic or like a clip of something. If you send a YouTube video, I can clip it and all that. So congratulations, Jason. <laughs> Crazy, huh? All right, where are the parts? The down here. Oh, yeah, look at all that. Space station designs. We'll just do a quick preview today. Excuse me. And the way we'll do it. Oh, no worries, dude. <laughs> I do apologize. I get it. I have to raid and run frequently, so no worries. I get it. After streaming, sometimes you gotta eat, man. Let's build a little platform here so we're not playing in the grass. Gonna hunt when you get home. Awesome. Uh, Jason, I can't remember if I asked. What did you think of? What do you think of the update? Let's come up here and let's put the parts down. Marty, welcome in. Danger sixty eight. What's going on? Speaking of awesome streamers, Marty plays. Real chill vibes, guys. Real chill vibes. Strongly recommend. I like that. I heard an Enra stream this morning. This would make like a good robot head. Creative use of parts, man. I'm telling you. That Enra Silver. You cannot go wrong uh, subscribing to Enra Silver. Or Marty, for that matter. Both awesome dudes. Storage frame. That's kind of fun. Why is there a cloud? Okay, thank you. Cloud went away. Oh, these signs are so cool. Uh, let's put up a couple of walls. Delete this. Put up walls. So we can actually see what we're doing here. Let's go to the corner here and then use build camera. Alright, come on back over to the decorations. And now, put you guys up. Look how big those are! Holy moly! Oh, I should put up a different... Uh, the wooden walls are probably not the right walls to use actually here. Oh, that cascades like a mother. Oofty. Let's, uh... Yeah, let's use that color. These are the legacy parts. I have them via save editor here. Um, let's come through. We'll resize them so we can see them. Come through here. Has had some frozen pizza. Uh, gotta get cutting videos for tomorrow now. Yeah, no worries. Enjoy, Jason. Have fun. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure you're busy with videos. Oh, look at this! Oh, so cool. And these are all resizable. Oh my god, guys, the building is gonna be off the freaking charts. This is so cool. Oh man, am I excited? Small holographic displays. This is a game changer. Look at this thing. 
That is large and in charge. This light I like a lot. This is gonna be these are gonna be cool parts for kaleidoscopes as well. Oh, this looks like those space heaters you get outside at restaurants, you know? <laughs> What's it called? A plinth light? I like the pillar light as well. This is a really cool part. Biocrate. It'll be cooler if it's facing the right direction. There we go. Look at that. It's so overgrown. It looks like a an aquarium we haven't kept up with small planter. It's actually rather large. Server block. Very cool. You can see the server blades, and they're two different colors. Orange and blue make a portal-themed base. Data chipset? Is that what the data cabinet? Got chips in there. Power transformer. And, ooh, the hydraulic arms. Whoa! <gasps> they move! Oh, no way. Get out of here. The only sign that is valid is the Gek one. For shame. For shame. <laughs> These arms move, bro. Look at that. Uh, Life of an Editor. And that right, Austin Air Company. Air Co., I should say. So pretty. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> Pineapple pizza? It's Jason's favorite, obviously, so... <laughs> I hear these signs of... What is this... T this, see, this looks kind of weird. Oh, I see what they're trying to go for here. Okay, it's better at a, a closer up. I wish what they'd done is, if you think about elevation color maps... Like, make, like, the top, like, red, and coming down, it gets blue as you get lower in elevation. So red to blue, like a color scale. Oh, look at these. They change, uh... Oh. Dynamic parts, guys. They've, been, they've listened. They have listened to some, at least. Well done. Just bravo, Hello Games. You've earned a chef's kiss. Well, just well done. <laughs> Master Kane, my handle is Rob from a D&D &D character. Ah, Forgotten Realms. Legend of Drizzt. Name my kid after one, too. <laughs> too nice. Nice. Josh Fall, these parts are going to be so fun to build with. Absolutely. It is making me feel that. Uh, that sort of building bug. This has been, this is really reinvigorating for No Man's Sky. I got to tell you. Uh, I assume this changes. Oh, get out of here. Look how cyberpunk that looks. Shut up. This is so... Oh, I'm excited. Oh, I'm like... My sister-in-law calls this, uh, like, when you win a game and you're like, guys, like, get really angry and yell. She calls it Angry Man Joy. He's, like, super happy. I'm getting Angry Man Joy <laughs> from these. <laughs> and she's always like, calm down. Calm down. These are all pretty awesome. Uh, I, there might be some more. I don't really know. Uh, I haven't delved into it too much. Uh, I don't, there might be something here. What is, why is it, why is this blinking? Craft concrete window panel, objective complete. What mission was I doing? It's a legacy part. That is a bug, guys. They did, they did something from like base base game. Have you noticed anything weird with the reflections, Delta? We noticed that they only worked on enhanced... No other section had them at all, really. Oh, I have not really checked that. Uh, enhanced. Okay, well, that's... Well, first, let's take a look at what is like this. Hold on. Reflections. So, like... Like, there's light reflecting off this thing right now. Like, what do you mean? I'm seeing lighting reflect. Uh, let's try... Uh, did we get Enra Silver in chat? Hey, there's Enra, the builder himself. We were just telling how awesome you are as a builder, dude. Let's, uh, guys, check out Enra Silver. For sure, seriously. Th there's, like... This is the best recommendation I'll give you all day. <laughs> Hands down. Oh, let's try it. Let's put it down to enhanced. Um, displaying graphics. 
Let's get at least two data points here. Between myself and Jason. Oh, just reflections. It shows up in floors almost like a mirror reflecting the objects around. Any metal floor should have it. Let's go to a space station. A space station should have that. Space stations. Is this one? Is there a current system space station? Perhaps not. Let's fly to the space station. Do it the old fashioned way. Can any of the new parts be recolored? That's worth checking out. I believe the answer is yes. Let's go through our light gate here. Uh, but how much they can be recolored probably, you know, user experience may vary. Yeah, so this does the outsides. That does the base. Uh, let's pick up more vibrant colors to the black. Yeah, that can be. Yep. 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 The frame on this. That's the wall. Yeah, it looks like the frame on these parts. The frames, for sure. Yep. Oh, yeah, because so these guys can be significantly recolored. Storage crate, yep, and I assume the frame on this, absolutely. The arms, how do you select the arms? Oh, these are hard to select. So you have to go to one of the arms, and it's like on the elbow, or at the tip of the arm. Yeah, but they can be recolored, that's good. As can you, as can you, as can you and you. Yep, they can. As an answer. Pineapple is only a dessert or a snack. Yeah, well, I, I'm with you there. I'm not a pineapple pizza guy either. Let's go to the space station, check out the reflections. Enro, yeah, Enro, Enro did a lot more of this in the morning. Um, he, he's, he's, the arms are tough to select. Yeah, so it's the, if you place the part down, it's the right arm towards the tip of the arm. It seemed to work. Um, I was behind the arms from where I placed them, so it was, from my perspective, the left one, but. Chill, chill, chill. All right, man, let's just check out the space station. Let's take a look at the floor, see what the reflections are looking like. Um, that is, it's good to have a few data points. Well, I don't know if Jason downloaded the, uh, look at that station. I do love that some of the stations still maintain that, that element of what we used to have. Look how tan this is. Man, I, like, there's gonna be some time where we gotta figure out the rhyme or reason as to why these are the way they are. This is a, okay, a three-star high-voltage economy. So we haven't been to a high voltage yet, and it's this color, so maybe it's based on the economy. Golden. Ogdam says, Jason, you need to try the Thai curry with pineapple. <laughs> I love Thai curries. Um, I love spicy food, man. Oh, look at that! What the? Uh, guys, I haven't found this. I didn't, I didn't hunt a C-class multi-tool. This is a t What is happening? I haven't found this one before. What is happening? This is the one, two, three, fourth multi-tool I found? What the heck is going on? Holy moly. Curry needs to be savory. In general, I agree with you, Jason. However, uh, sometimes a tinge of sweetness isn't, doesn't hurt. Pineapple, 
feels like a bit much to me. Uh, my One of my favorite vacations in the world is I went to Thailand with my wife. We went to India for um, a family wedding, and we just popped over to Thailand because we were like, we're that far away. Might as well take the $200 flight to Thailand, you know? Um, and the cost of living there is, the exchange rate was very favorable, shall we say. So, a relatively cheap vacation if we were already going to India, you know? This is a C-class as well, Dreams of the Sky. I, this, I am assuming this is the station multi-tool. I definitely haven't found that before. Uh, let me take a picture of it. I don't know what galaxy we're in. How did I find this dude? I'm telling you, I don't know what's happening. I'm, I'm having the luck of the gods tonight. This is insanity. Uh, I wish that Le Leandro says, I wish they had more floors to freighter bases. I saw a video of a guy that made a base using a mod to give it kind of an open concept, as in like a space city. Well, freighter bases have opened up quite a bit since the last few updates, right? I mean, you can do a lot more on freighter bases. I haven't done much freighter base building, to be fair, so I'm not 100% sure. Oh, the roof. Oh, right. I'm here for the metal floor. Sorry. Oh, man. Squirrel. <laughs> Something happened and I just got distracted. Christy, you gotta go. Uh, thank you for being here, Christy. Have a great night. And thanks for the well wishes on the stream. Uh, the Nanite. The what? The Nanite store? The heck is the Nanite store? The roof of the Nanite store? This guy? Oh, this guy. Oh, yeah, I'm seeing reflections here. Okay. Let's change uh, display and graphics. Ultra. Oh, what? Get out. Ultra should be good. Oh, man. How did you catch that, dude? What? How did you catch that? Jesus, they should hire you as a QA expert. My God. <laughs> Not in a million years. Would I have seen that? And let's try standard. Get out of here. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I'm actually, I'm actually going to keep it on enhanced because I like that. Um, crazy. Found an A-class royal when taking down the Sentinel Tower. Awesome, Emperor. That's crazy. Yeah, and guys, check out Gaming with Christy for sure. That's insanity. That's insanity. My wife is Thai, trust me. Curry with pineapple is the best. All right, well, hey, you can't, you can't beat that reference, right? Someone in chat had the same issue on an NVIDIA card, so I tried it on an AMD card and it was the same. Ah! Throttle Jockey says sub D squad. Room, room, Throttle Jockey. What's going on, buddy? How you doing tonight? I think the chrome color that we get from the white is also kind of varied. I don't think you can quite get this chrome color when you make a ship. Well, good to know. Good to know. Um, Guys, I have been streaming for a long time. It's been <laughs> probably four and a half hours. I didn't expect to go this long tonight, and I got a lot of kitchen cleaning to do before we travel tomorrow. So, and I got work in the morning, not to mention. So, I think, unfortunately, we are going to call our journey for now done there. I, like I said, am traveling um, starting tomorrow midday through most of Sunday. Um, so I won't have to do, I won't be able to do a random third stream. I did do a random yesterday stream. Uh, in the middle of the day, Tuesday, played some Apex Legends. Um, that's what she said. Got him. Um, so, uh, no uh, weekend stream, uh, which is killing me because I want to play this update more. Uh, I want to check out the multi-tool stuff more, the ships more. But on Monday, I'll be live again, hopefully around 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Oh, I'm sorry. 
Uh, my wife is out all next week, so I'm doing daughter bedtime. So around 8 p.m., a little bit later than I usually start, but I will be live 8 p.m. Monday and Wednesday next week for sure, and I'll throw in some streams on Tuesday, Thursday, maybe Friday as well, just to make up for the fact that I'm not doing one over the weekend and the wife's out of town, so <laughs> why not? We'll have some fun. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Jason, huge 07 for the raid. A huge 07 for all you new subscribers. Welcome to the Delta Squad. Come join the Discord. Hang out with us. We do that a lot. It's a good time. Um, and, uh, hey, uh, hopefully I'll see you in some future streams as well. 07, Elan Paul also for the, um, for the raid. Really appreciate that. Uh, let's take a look. We had a bunch of people give super chats and stickers. Scott, Rinse, Repeat. Uh... Did some uh, gives some membership Delta Creator, uh, uh, Clifford joined him as a member Nova Kane, Luca, uh, Kiwi Pirate, uh, Evolve Finch. Guys, thank you all so much for your support of the channel. It means a huge deal to me. Um, you know, I, I it's cheesy, but hey, we're a family here, right? Internet family, baby. Let's do this thing and let's uh, let's have some fun. We're gonna play a lot of No Man's Sky next week. I am stoked. Uh, be well, everybody. Says I got Jane. I agree. Let us pass the wealth along. Let's let's see if we can find somebody who is live right now, and let's go make somebody's night um, by doing a raid. All right. Redirect. Add search video channels. Go oh, guys. Okay. So I don't see I don't see anybody doing No Man's Sky. Let me check. Let me just check YouTube real quick. I, d I didn't see anybody that I am subscribed to doing No Man's Sky Live right now. Oh, Delta One is live doing No Man's Sky. He's a weird dude. Um. So here's what we'll do. Let's raid... And nobody that I can auto raid. There is somebody live that's going, but I can't auto raid them because they don't have it set up. So, I am going to raid Good at Game. He's not playing No Man's Sky, but he is awesome, and he's playing Hogwarts Legacy. So, if you don't, if you're not, he does do No Man's Sky from time to time. If you're not a fan of Hogwarts Legacy, that's okay. Go pop over, throw him a hashtag Delta Raid, um, and he is an amazing streamer. He's a lot of fun. Go check him out. Yeah, YouTube's terrible about raids. I don't. I, yeah, you're right, Jason. I just uh, like there is a guy that's doing No Man's Sky, but I don't think the raid will work. It just won't because I can't see it, so it's not worth doing, which is too bad. Um, yeah, there's good at games link there, but we're gonna when I end this, we're gonna auto go over there. He's playing Hogwarts Legacy, a really great game, um, and he's a really cool dude. Does No Man's Sky from time to time as well. So pop over, throw him a raid, throw him a sub. You're welcome for the long stream, Jay Roth. Thank you all for being here. Um, so we'll throw them a hashtag Delta Raid, and until next time, guys, happy hunting, happy surviving, happy, man, scrapping some ships, making some money, and finding some new colors. <laughs> then I will see you guys out there in the verse. Have a good one, my friends.